Before we get into this video, I just wanted to say thanks for everyone who has been joining these podcasts. Not only does it help me, it helps the community itself and the devs because all these suggestions are perhaps what we may see in the game. With that being said, if you have any suggestions, stop by the Grey Zone Warfare channel called The Suggestions for GZW. And if you want to leave them in my comment section, feel free because I read the comment section and I get back to everyone who comments. Remember, precision over chaos because every move matters. Now let's get into the video. What's up guys, this is Tactical Gamer here. I'm your host. We're gonna be going over Devlog 4 for Grey Zone Warfare. I have Gertrude here for you, the Fat Hands, the Contractor, Dan Bauer, and Major Mithras. We're gonna be cracking straight into it. Hope you enjoy, and just remember precision over chaos because every move matters. All right, so we have our first screen here. It, we've seen this before, so I'm just gonna click on out of here. <clears throat> Gray Zone Warfare World Exploration Devlog Four. Discover the the Democratic Republic of Le Mans, inspired by the real life beauty of Laos in Southeast Asia. This dangerous world offers endless exploration and mysteries to uncover. Le Mans's vast world was meticulously crafted from thousands of detailed photos, capturing its varied terrain and structures. Immerse yourself in a lush, tropical jungle, countryside village, and cultural richness. Learn more about its history and how it's brought to you by Scala, a cutting-edge technology incorporating authentic natu natural behaviors derived from true-to-life data. So what this is telling me could take a trillion images to take this map on right here. And within those trillion images, that's what makes Grey Zone Warfare. What are y'all thoughts on Scala, which is the first time I've ever heard of it? I'm not too sure if it's just a uh, uh, EU... Uh, what a, a fucking... What engine is this? Jesus Christ. Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unreal Engine 5, yeah. <laughs> UE, I did the same thing earlier where I was explaining it to somebody. I'm like, man, why does UE not sound correct for some reason? So I just got to say it out. Unreal Engine 5, yeah. I don't know if it's specifically to Unreal Engine 5, but it's cutting-edge technology I've never heard of. Uh, have y'all heard of it? Definitely I've not nice. heard of it before, but it, I think it's one of the newer ones. It sounds yeah, legit, I that's for sure. Yeah. They, uh, I think they mentioned it early on in uh, production. Yes. They were Using going to be out of their own. Yeah. And if, if I remember right, that was something they created, wasn't it? That's not yes. like an outside. Yeah. It's their so, own, uh, it's I, their own I, uh, picture, like yeah. uh, what's it called? Uh, assets. Yeah. I. Uh, I, I it seems, sorry. It seems like a way to get like what looks like ray tracing, but using traditional rasterized lighting techniques. Yeah. So that like you know people aren't. I, a I, I you know ray tracing is is incredibly demanding, and I think even most people with forty series GPUs aren't really using ray tracing unless they want to suffer. So, you know, right now it, it's it's impractical, especially for a, a, a competitive sh well quote unquote competitive shooter. So I. From what I gather, it's it's an yes. attempt at, at making something that looks like ray tracing, but still using more traditional lighting techniques. Yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. Um, just one thing to point out. So it seems just something that's coming to brain. They're using the cutting edge technology, which is, to me, I believe it's top of the line. So they're developing this game, right? Using the top of the line engines, except etc. Et okay. Uh just to bring it back to Tarkov, because everybody loves talking about Tarkov in this game together. Oh, I mean, boy. come on. There's no th We were never on Tarkov. <laughs> Mark we bring it back to Tarkov. Mark wouldn't have joined a streamer, uh, a few streamers, Veritas and um Jesse. You know, for the podcast the other day, some known Tarkov streamers, if this game wasn't related to Tarkov. I mean, come on. In some sense or another. Um, 
But to, to skip on straight to the point, they're using the cutting edge technology, right? Tarkov had a decision to make, and they made the wrong one in a hundred different ways. They could have went and spent the money on UE5, said it right this, this time, the abbreviated version, instead of doing Arena right off the bat. They could have saved money and brought in UE5, where Tarkov would be standing in a much better situation, I believe. Um, I'm not too much crazy about engines and whatnot, but I just, I know they made the wrong decision there. I, that's how I feel anyways. It would look better, they could do so many different things, it's a better engine, obviously. Especially with, especially with the changes to Unity's, uh, developer's license agreements. Yeah. Yeah. I think the difficult thing is, is Unreal Engine, like, 5, the newest of the new, you've got the potential for, like, really great rewards, but you also have to do a whole lot of, like, trial and error yourself. And it's yeah. one thing if a game's not released yet, they sort of, like, Madfinger kind of technically has the time to figure out all the quirks of Unreal Engine 5, where EFT, even though they could still, you know, still say this is going to be a big update later down the line, the game's already out and people are already playing it. So people, you know, they're going to be a little bit more on the hook to release an updated engine sooner rather than later. And Unity, yeah. even though it's, even though Unity is, is you know, dealing with, with this, this this licensing issue or whatever, like Unity's a really robust engine. Like there's, I, I have a lot of just wildly different games that run on Unity. So it's, it's not necessarily a, a bad choice. Um, it's not going to be as pretty, I think, as Unreal Engine 5 could be, but it's no. definitely the, the safer choice. Yeah. And I think Unreal, I think uh, <clears throat> uh, Grace on Warfare or Madfinger Games have actually used the uh, scanners to scan in items into the game. Yeah. Uh, Some 360 like scanners. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like I something you would use in, um, I guess, printing or something. It's like know. uh 3D scanning it's, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that yeah. makes sense. It's yeah. basically that's it's basically laser scanning. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. Isn't it the one where they have like all the cameras around it or is that a different one? No, 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 no. Yeah, that's a different one. Yeah, you're thinking so, of the uh, like mocap technology. Yeah, so this one is like LiDAR. It's like oh, yeah, yeah, so they they measure oh, yeah, the sure. distance with uh, that and you they can just because it creates a 3D image for like 3D programs. They can just throw it in, and then like finish it there. Basically, make it nice. The thing so, was like CAD I mean, technology for vehicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's for uh, like gaming. Like, yeah. I think there's a huge mm -hmm. library out there for Unreal Unreal Engine Five, where they scan in just pick up stones from the ground, scan them, put them into the, to the libraries basically so I, I hope they used some of that or maybe they did some of their own like for the weapons and stuff that would be cool uh because yeah it looks really good this game oh yeah and we have not seen everything just yet here no <laughs> let me tell you it's it's gonna be awesome well uh anybody wants to add anything else to um gala or we pretty much got it well since yeah. um not exactly to uh, to learn about what Scala is compared to other uh, scanning systems and uh, like I don't really have anything else to say but if they're going along the similar routes as other games it will be great as we have seen from other footage for yeah. sure and footage we're about to see more of right now alright oh, moving yeah. on well here's that footage Let's see what we got. Uh, it would full screen? Yeah, it might as well. I don't know why it you would not do full it. screen. You, you can't do that when you're screen share. You need to screen share your whole screen. No, you can. Open up you YouTube. Can. We'll just watch it like this. And then I'll uh, zoom in in the... Uh... You, can just, you can just click the YouTube button. The graphics are so yeah, good. Yeah, but then it's going to change it, my it windows. It looks good anyways. Yeah, like just the, like that fort looks nice. Yeah. From from it saying surviving the fall in paradise, they were showing like a 
I don't know, call it resort holiday homes at the start. Yeah, that's oh, look at good. That. Like, look at how much that changed for, yeah. for that Ooh. indoor shot. Like, it looks insane, dude. Yeah, like just that's dark. pre scala yeah that's pre scala this is, that's this is yeah this is early access like like the indoor scene like how how much darker and like cozier the room looked yep like, yeah again this like yeah you can that looks amazing see video. i wow. think the, the scala sys i think the scala system is their own asset library so they actually made all the assets themselves and then put them into one big library that's called scala i think I think it's a combination of, of like technologies that they've worked on or put yeah. together for sure. Regardless, I'd like to see a lot more on it and exactly what Scala is and um, yeah, have a little bit more backstory. Of... Wait, can you go back to the beginning there? Yeah, we could play it back as many times as you want. Well, wait, so that overview, I'm just, where is that overview from? Because it's not the usual overview we get. No, this is... That's... Hundred percent updated version for sure. Yes, but it's from a different, different viewpoint. Like location of the map, kind of thing. Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. Or no, maybe that's. Um, oh, I don't see the water each. tower from here. It, yeah, is yeah, it? that's watching each. Yeah. Because the right side there is ground east zero. To west. Uh, yeah. uh, no, from, from west to east. Yeah. So. Are those rice fields or just floods? I yeah, think it's rice fields. Rice, rice paddies. Yeah. Yeah. But they yeah, look yeah. flood, right? Yeah, they rice, rice well, that's how they are. Like, they yeah, kind they of are in. flooded. No, yeah, but with the gameplay we've seen, they haven't been that flooded. Anyway, uh, one thing I want to just say is uh, just go back a little bit just to where it so showed the factions. CSI stays winning with being right next to the airport yeah Ooh, yeah yeah so they can get out of the country faster that's perfect <laughs> no no so we can do close air support with our no. nukes with your nukes right with your plane tickets back to fucking cry baby pee pants island out there i'm i'm not gonna lie i really wish oh, we were where mithras were i'm not gonna lie yeah mithras does has a, has I, a that's where spot. i wanted However, to start off However, Roman legionary LARPers, I don't know, man. That, that seems yeah, kind of cringe to me. No. We start at the <laughs> bottom, work our way to the top. All I know is I'm so thankful LRI does nah, not have your position or my position oh. because that's the best position. <laughs> I want it to be no matter what, waterside. Period. That's what I yeah. wanted. No matter what. Because the waterside right. is just going to be fucking badass. Just a big dirty ocean. Yup. Or watch, it's just a large pond. Well, uh, you, you could see me in my bikini on the sun, uh, oh, the weekend. Oh, man. Now <laughs> I got a, something. Oh, shit. I accidentally fucking skipped so oh, far. Man. There's a beach down here. <laughs> oh, buddy. I got my, my little fucking Speedo. Oh, buddy. His little mankini. Yeah, you won't, <laughs> won't be able to see much of it with the rest of me, kind of, you know. Yeah. Little <laughs> a little puffy. Who are you guys yeah. going to be siding with? Uh, I'm well, crimson. I'm still, th I'm still think, I'm still thinking about that first picture we saw. I think that might be the environment, cause it looks way flooded than it actually looked at gameplay in the beginning. So that be. might be a flooded, uh, flooded environment. Yeah. Or partially flooded. They could yeah, be testing that question, out already. Don't know. Yeah, that'd be cool if if they're already starting to work on on stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. This photo is really not too much. They are like at least six months ahead. This one, I'd yeah. like. Um, I want to notate like just so many different things that they have. So Blue Lagoon is going to be on the southeastern corner, closer to Mithras at the moment. Mm -hmm. And just to say, you on the updated map, we'll see in a second here. You cannot see it from the top down. So you really don't know what POIs are out there. Yeah. You really don't know. I know it looks like a blank map, but they're Unless constantly they're showing. Well, there's yeah. a lot of jungle, right? So I think a lot of this stuff. I mean, look at how many trees are are surrounding that area. Yeah, like, that's the, a, that's the a overhead thick area. Yeah, you're you're not yeah. gonna be able to see. So I mean, j just to point out, just to point out. Oh yeah. Pre Scala. 
Yeah, look at the change. Oh, it's so good. The water. It's not even the same area. Overhaul. It's it's literally no. not even the same area. Look how different just, this shit is. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, the trees and it all is. look really good, and the water does still look good yeah. here and all. But the lighting, it's just, yeah, it's that a little too bright. Looks, that looks like an indie game, the first one, like pre yeah. and it looks like an yeah. indie game trying to break out. But this looks like AAA or yeah, this looks severely <laughs> realistic. Oh, we don't use that term. It's <laughs> only one quadruple A game in existence, buddy. Bull and bone. It's beyond competition. And again, here I I don't know if there's a that, uh, yeah that pre looks so good. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I I like the pre one actually on that one. Yeah, the pre one looked a bit better. Oh shoot! Go back. I pressed the wrong button. So, <clears throat> Fortner, you son of a bitch is Mithras. What? I, I'm not gonna be able to get to Marth, uh, Narth, no. unless I go through you. No. We're establishing no. a defensive perimeter around it because that's our airfield that we can use the military stuff yep. to dunk on the rest of y'all. I'm gonna have to go through y'all. No, you're gonna have to just sit on the sidelines and cry and about it. You know. That would be pretty cool if um, you can fight over the airfields and claim mm. them in a sense. Uh, kind of brings it back to my like radio tower idea, which uh will be in a different podcast for those who want to see that one. Stay tuned. This could be like the radio tower, or something like that. Yeah, it, it would be pretty or, cool. Or the tower, or or the tower on the building itself. <clears throat> That's a radio oh, tower yeah, yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah, right there. Um, uh, it'd be pretty cool to see. You know, uh, this is actually a lot bigger than what I thought. You know, just seeing this here. And it's it says concept, so I'm yeah, guessing yeah. this was um, drawn up by somebody, uh, art wise, art studio, whoever it was. Really, really good though, he, dude. Really, really good. I, I love the fact that it's very obviously like a former Soviet fortification. Yeah, like, yeah. Star and everything. Like, yeah. yeah. And, and then, even the trucks, like those are very like old Russian, like Soviet looking trucks. Yeah. And then and that, now it's going to be coming to fruition. Mm -hmm. So carrying on a little bit. Here we are. Pre Scala. That's still Russian trucks, yeah. Yeah. Then the heavy, then yeah, the there's the well, big the radio tower as well. Russian trucks make complete sense based on what we know of the yeah. story so far. It looks so different to the concept of yeah, that area does look very different. Port narrow. Yeah, yes, it looks very different from the uh, concept art. And that's kind of yep. what I wanted to point out, like how many um, buildings they had there. It looked fucking awesome, but we only have one view right here. Maybe they yeah, decided, yeah. you know what, let's break up the buildings and we could see that in the top yeah. down. Um, we'll try and overlay exactly, not overlay, but try and get a gist just from this image. Try and remember this image once we get to the map. We'll try and figure out what location they're like looking towards and see if there's other buildings around. Oh, yeah. You can put it, already. it looks good, dude. It looks good for sure. I know, exa I know exactly what that building is. This, on the map. this shot, this is what I like. This change, yeah. I yep. love oh. that. Yup. That it office looks, looks so. It's a weird thing to describe, like a, a, an area in a shooter as cozy. But like, I love cozy games. I love, I love the, the idea of like being nice and cozy in your room, and like you can look out the window, and there's either bad weather or whatever. Like, that looks like such a nice. I, 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 I'd almost like be like I'd almost like to be the guy that worked there before it turned into a mess. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's such a yeah. neat space and the lighting again. It, it's such a massive change. The lighting change. Oh uh, yeah. This right here is kind of giving me like uh, just the feel of it, like um, dead side, kind of like some dead side vibes, oh. just a little bit. Not yeah. like hardcore, but it made me think of dead side for Ooh. some reason. So I just. But I also want to that out. Counter Strike, yeah, yeah. just the, the, look. Those, the look, maybe yeah, it's yeah, yeah. the yeah, textures, yeah, the look. maybe yeah. the radio textures aren't implemented yet, but that looks yeah, that the textures. a lot more modern than the the post Scala image does. Yeah, I I right. would play with this if everything looked like this, and I'd be happy. Oh, but yeah, we're not getting this. Board. Yeah, no, we're getting this <laughs> right here. This is what we're that getting. That looks so good. Look at like, that. Like, monitors yeah. and stuff. Like this is insane. Oh. 
I do blinders. That would be cool yeah, if you could yes, change them. Yeah. Yep. No, no, no. If you could change them, like... Yeah, yeah, to close like, them. You do have the string yeah, here. Not, not the string, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the round deal. The rotating. Yeah. yeah. But it would be cool if you could raise them as well, like... Like... Raise and open lower. Window or, yeah, raise and lower and, like, turn them on and off. That would be cool, but... Yeah. That probably won't happen. It'd be dope. <clears throat> it's hard to say. Awesome. Hey, if there was a tactical advantage to raising them or lowering, like if you could raise them and shoot out the window and like close them to obscure visibility, then yeah, I could see them I mean, looking at it anyways. Yeah. Or, or like break say, the window first, break ooh. the window first, and then so you can shoot through the what's called the blinders. Cause, yeah, yeah. Say you yeah, have nighttime and you have to look around with the flashlight you close the blinders so they can't really see in oh, as well yeah 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 stuff like oh, that yeah that'd be cool that'd be a cool little concept to come out uh with we oh. have midnight sapphire here and uh the resort. very resort <laughs> yeah the resort it's... in the north so what's gotten me a little like not concerned uh this isn't obviously the finished version let me get to the finished version uh first so this okay we still do yeah pre scala well yeah let me get to the finish be best yeah you can see it good here so you have the changes in elevation i'm just wondering what body of water this is coming from obviously i feel this is mountain yeah so they have mountain springs like well, they have it, so they have the, it looks like there's a lake yeah. right there well my thing yeah. is i don't know if this is going towards ground zero right now uh we'll no, have to see no, if no, no. where That's midnight sapphire is on the map it's going away, the map it's going away? okay yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's probably north. like the map boundary or something yeah yes. I, i'm just it's like it's on the northern end right i think it's at uh, the yes. northwest northern. End. Mm. We'll no 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 check. straight north straight uh, north? north middle straight north, yeah. okay because yeah. i i remember there was like a, a quarry looking thing on the previous map that uh yes. somebody had notated that it looked like a quarry i think that was operator sin lake. that uh notated that from what I, my recollection is but um yeah i this now so so now i'm not so upset if i'm on the northeastern side as crimson field uh because I could just kill y'all fuckers and then go party at the resort, okay? You should just be upset for being Crimson <laughs> Shield. <laughs> I'm gonna have a party at the resort. You know how much money is gonna be at the resort and dead people? You know? Yeah, because that's what I love that? to do is party with dead people. Man. <laughs> you said yeah, but, it, buddy. But the, but the height elevation is gonna be crucial in fighting there. That's gonna be, oh, yeah. that's you... gonna be so annoying because you have choke points. And you can't really climb those walls, I'm guessing, because otherwise they wouldn't, like... You, you could tell this is like a cliff face right here, obviously. You can probably go around, yeah. honestly. I think you might be able to go around a bit to the left, and there might be a way to get up, because you can see the elevation yeah. kind of start to... El uh, I mean... Equalize. Yeah, yeah, but still, like, if you go in yeah, through that, like that, uh, that, that road, for example, like, you have two ways. You have right and left. Like, you can't, like... They are so many choke uh, choke points here. If you lie in the right place, you might actually like cover like almost all the choke points to the middle. And if you have like multiple guys that lying around, like you can lock down this place quite easily. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you have some on top of that uh, hotel looking building in the back. It's gonna yeah, it's gonna be suicide and though to be there. Just to state, it does look like you could get to this the top of this building just saying oh yeah yeah so during the game test like they could walk into every building that's what i love it's not like mm -hmm. they see you or some other game where you can only walk in like tarkov in... <laughs> yeah like Tar no, yeah but like you have it, have it in warzone as well you can't walk into every building yeah. on a fl on a floor or they see you can only walk in the staircase you can't like walk you out walk into, into the building everywhere. itself you can't walk into every room. You can't see what's inside of every room. Uh, it just leaves lots of like, uh, how do you say this? Dead space in buildings. Yes, uh, the space but in buildings isn't really fully utilized, which I have yeah, to but... is what I like about this game as well. 
Yeah. The once I saw that actually I actually breached like random buildings, they could just breach it if they wanted to. Sure, there are some way uh, some doors that are blocked off by like material and stuff, but I'm fine with that when you can walk in into so many buildings. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, and who knows? We might get a breaching tool in the future too to oh, get yeah. through those kind of doors as well. Which I would see them doing since they have emphasized uh, this uh, gameplay is... a lot. So I could see them doing uh, breaching charges or other kind of breaching tools. Yeah. yeah. This view is pointed north. Or yeah. And yeah. Just northeast. To, just to notate, uh, I remember a while back, this is the statue I just realized. Yeah. Of the, uh, I guess the leader. Uh, I I can't remember the lower portion all that well at th at this time, but um, yeah. I was always wondering where that place was on the map, and uh, even searched on the map and thought possibly that would be in Ground Zero, but it looks like it's not. It's at the Midnight Sapphire Resort. Yeah. Do you see that guy there? By the way, he looks a lot better armored than the other guys we've seen. So this that's is that's a fair. mid position between each faction, and yeah. you pointing that out now does uh, give me answers to, well, give us answers to like uh, the higher tiered enemies being more armored, and what they may look like. Because this dude yeah. obviously is not a bandit. He is his skin color is different. Not you know. And to say all bandits are like um, <laughs> a certain color, you know, but uh, the ones I seen were like more of that uh, Asian look, you know, but also just to state from this distance, it looks like he's possibly a white person and he, uh, he could be a PMC, could be one of the PMCs, right? We can't rule can that you, out. Can you play it and see if it goes closer to him? Yeah, it probably doesn't. No, yeah, that was it. Oh, yeah. It's just a half a second more. But it, uh... It could be one of the PMCs. Possibly not. I think it's one of the people holding down this area. Which tells yeah. me... This could be one of the... The possible unknown force that dealt with, um... The factions or the previous UN forces that were there before we came into the picture. And that being said, it's like, why do they, why are they here then? You know, it, it, just, as well. it, it brings up so much questions. Why are they here? Why are they in this country? In quotations, you know, the, I mean, the game, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. why, you know, it, it's just, I think it's a PMC though. I mean, but you can't rule out the other factors. Yeah, like it's tough. It yeah. looks like he's holding either an AK or an SKS, like that. That yeah. it's very yeah. hard to see. It's very blurry, but it doesn't look like an M4 platform. And he's uh, also running like um, uh, shirt. Uh, no, so armless. Like he doesn't Reapers, have like yeah. an. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's obviously yeah. has arms. He's holding a gun. No, I'm just yeah, but. He's, but... He's... <laughs> Um, and I don't know if he has a helmet on, which is really hard to tell. In, with or, this yeah, or a hat. It, it yeah. looks like, like a, a very... just hair or maybe a bandana. Yeah. From my view yeah, here. It looks but... like hair to me. I think it looks like a beret. It could be, could be. Um, by the way, real quick, am I streaming in high quality or no? Is uh, it low yeah, quality? You're only at 20, 15 FPS. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, I'll bring that up real quick. I'd, I didn't know you could stream that low. Yeah, oh my god, that's funny. Didn't know I could stream that low, huh? Oh yeah. You 15 son FPS, of a gun. yeah. You can, but that's for people who have like very terrible integrated graphics. All right, how's that? A little bit better. Uh, that's better. better. All right, sorry about that. So uh, now we have, is this Nam Thaven? Yeah, Nam Thaven yeah. concept. This, we obviously know it's not going to look exactly like this. So let's just continue. We don't know yet. Like, there might be uh, 
adding more stuff as time goes on, like more oh, shit no, on the. There's, they're gonna, they're gonna, one hundred percent. Yeah, but oh yeah, but, for sure. No, I mean like environment, so they actually have a time on it. So the longer the serve, uh, the, sorry, the longer the play, uh, game goes on, the more trash and stuff happens to get on the road. Yeah. Could be. That, that too. That would be cool. Be before wipe, yeah, and then it rewipes and whatnot. That would Maybe be very cool. Performance, so. So. Like, as that fills up. I I would say this is the market and the big ass building, obviously. Yes. yes. That we see here. You, you, you can you can see the boss uh, the, the the three windows in the middle. Uh, the. Th mm. uh, yeah. The open market. In the middle. Yeah. Above uh, above the dolls there in the middle. There's the three windows. Oh the yes, boss. yeah, the, yeah, the second story like the yeah, manager's yeah. room. Yeah, yeah the, the boss is up there. there. Yeah. And it looks very good. It looks a little bit. Oh this yeah, this looks... is this yeah. is way better. Yeah. And then that was the end of the video. Mm -hmm. So can you go back to the beginning now when you have like good uh, good quality here? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, those are yeah those are uh, flooded. Those rice fields are flooded. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more water. Yeah. I think they are uh, pulling uh, around yeah. with the flooding and all right now already. Yeah. yeah, I think they're trying they to anticipate and figure out exactly how much flooding for a normal they want, maybe, mm -hmm. for EA. And um, obviously they could do updates with the game and make more flooding or less flooding, just to kind of like Tarkov, the way they do it. But yeah. in the future, from what yeah. I understand, they want it static, where it's going to happen automatic. So, uh, so if I remember... I, not the static, first uh, I said uh, it backwards. Yeah, the first patch is gonna be six months down the line, and that is day and night cycle. And then six months later, after that, I think is the flooding or the environment uh, thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, we could say roughly that they're they could either be oh. faster or oh, slower with everything from this delay once early access hits. Yeah. So I mean. The seven-year outlook, I would push out to eight years, you know, just for uh, shits and giggles, even though I know for a fact with what they've accomplished now already within two years and the amount of feedback with not just my videos, but and, and all of y'all help, we could severely help them with all this feedback and get this with uh, possibly six years to a release. How awesome yeah, would that probably. be if they beat Pro their release? That would be crazy. Oh yeah. I think Definitely. they're gonna beat it. I think it's gonna be much, much earlier though. Yeah. Because I think it's gonna be like three, four years max. That's what I feel too, because they they put an eight year out, kind of like Tarkov, and that pissed me off. Not that what they said, but it pissed me off that the community that you had some idiots who know what Tarkov is, and they're like, oh, this game, eight years, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, eight years of a possible, not confirmed, people, $35 to $45, which is my speculation of what it's going to cost. After EA, it's going to be more. Compared to Tarkov's, at minimum, $45 to $144, from what I recall when I, I purchased too. EOD. Tarkov is because they're selling the game internally. They're not really using like the the typical <clears throat> EA structure that Steam uses. Yeah, right? like they can still call it an early access game, but because yeah, they, in quotations, but it's technically yeah, released. Buy... I mean, yeah. in my opinion, you know, but it, they still I mean, call it a beta, so they could have the yeah the the rants I mean, put at a hold of yeah. how shit the game is, and that they don't mm. take care of their shit. You know, which the game's not total I mean, shit, but it's. Yeah. It, I'm mainly referring to the hackers. It, it's shit yeah. because of the hackers. Yeah. If they it, get that it, under it, it control, it's better. Yeah. 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 No. Like, like, gameplay is fun and all that, but you load into a match and it's just over. Yeah. Your yeah. head eyes. It's a coin flip. Yeah. It's a, it's a coin flip whether or not you have a fair mm. match. Yeah. I think, and I don't know what rules Steam puts on games for early access. If there's a price point that they're forbidden from exceeding or anything like no, that, no. but they, I know. Not. No. Okay. Um, so then, yeah, yeah, it doesn't really make much difference. But 
I think they Most, should have that. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know about you guys. Every single Steam game I purchased in early access was cheaper in early access than the full release. So I'm going to assume that you're right. Like that's probably how it's going to work. And uh, that is how Gray, said Gray that has well. said that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah they, okay. They, it was confirmed that it's going to be cheaper in early access mm. for sure. I'm just. I'm guessing twenty nine ninety nine. I. Uh, yeah in early access it's it's gonna be something around 30 bucks 59. if they go any cheaper than that they're insane for what they're providing i would pay 50 fucking dollars right now for this yeah thousand percent it's tenfold. much much better than yeah every other early access game i've seen I mean, and depending what they have go it's on better than most aa games that are being put out right now 100 percent. The where they're at right now it's better than most aa games I, so. before they release fully um, I, I know they don't have any plan. Well, I'm not going to say I know because I don't, but I speculate that they don't have any plans at this time to have more than one version, just a base version of the game. I'd honestly love to see at least at the minimum two versions of the game where they offer something else, like anything. It could be in the credits or whatever, your name or whatever the fuck. Uh, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Just something that will help them hire more people for those OGs that want to help. It could be anything. Uh, Soundtrack version. Oh, yeah. Version, I, version. Dude, I cannot wait to hear this soundtrack. If it's anything want, that gives me nostalgia me feels. Yeah. If, it, if it's anything that gives me nostalgia feels like what Halo has done for me in the past, which I do not play now, or anything else, like Battlefield, all of that, I'd, I'd absolutely fucking shed a tear. It's just, I need a game like that again. All these other games, Tarkov 20, 20 years from now, I'll have memories like, oh yeah, I remember that time I got head eyes. That's literally all my memories from that shit. That's, yeah, 99% of my time in Tarkov is spent dead. Yeah. I'm not going to have no nostalgia from that, but Greystone yeah. Warfare and building this community, helping build this community, mm -hmm. and helping forge this game with you guys, as and um, starting my content creation journey with Greystone Warfare. It's just, um, I can't wait to see what this game does, and Madfinger I'm, Games does in the future for all its next games coming up. I'm hoping for Vietnam music. I, I hope song. they get somebody yeah. to do a spin-off that's a little bit more modern. I'm not sure exactly how Vietnam music is, but uh, um, well, it's, it's music is, that was out back then, the like Queen's Clearwater like fortunate, Revival. Fortunate oh song. no, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you mean. I I thought you yeah. meant like v music from <laughs> Vietnam, not like nah. yeah, no, because oh, I you, mean that's also pretty easy to find too. I mean, you best. <laughs> You best believe I tried contacting for the license uh, so I could get some licensing to use Fortunate Son. But sadly, I have not heard back yet. I don't know what's going on with that. I'd gladly pay some bucks for that. I, now, I might be wrong, but isn't there a law that if something's more than 50 years old, it's it's free from from copyright claims and i'm pretty sure uh 75 years i think it is now. oh good lord never mind Jeez, i'll be dead yeah, and gone it. no no yeah. it'll be no, uh it's over 50 years old now pretty much like it's it's the future's now that, that came out in like well we, 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 son, I think, yeah it came out after vietnam was over even though it's super well like associated with the vietnam war yeah. we'll be playing gray zone 4 by then before i could use fortunate son for free yeah which it's I'm totally seven, fine with. Yeah. Grade Zone Four. I, Let's get it. I I hope yeah. instead Alter of doing... no, it's 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 more. All for his lifetime yeah. plus seventy years. Oh yeah, written. plus seventy years. Yeah. Seventy yeah. years yeah. after the author's the... death, all from published. That's why, uh, uh, was called like uh, the Disney thing, like two years ago or something. Went uh, out so Mouse last, last yeah, year. Yeah, exactly. They lost their uh, like copyright for that. Off of the original design. That's Sorry, crazy, I have to tap dude. out. Um, I just realized I fell asleep in my chair. <laughs> Good lord. You're fine. You're fine. Um, well, uh, this is the first video. We're about forty minutes in now, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna continue on this journey. Yeah. 
Uh, so the text states right after this video, which is for this video, is each area boasts a distinct tone, which you obviously can see, and atmosphere. The stunning landscape offers more than just scenic views. They serve a diverse tactical... They serve as diverse tactical arenas. Utilize buildings for cover and concealment. Strategically position yourself behind roadblocks, vehicles, and crates. And leverage natural foliage such as trees, bushes, and plants to remain unseen. There's no other game that I know of like this. That... I, I had watched a video from the alpha playtest and the person tested it. Uh, I don't remember the exact words that were stated because there were, I believe, 20 different videos or more for the alpha playtest. I'm not going to go back and try and find it and plug it, but um, yeah, it, it was tested. The AI couldn't see him through the bush, through the brush, through the tree, you know, however you want to say that. Um, that's very big. Whereas Tarkov, you could be seen through walls by AI, stuff like that. And it's yeah. quite unreal. And that would be cool, actually. Yeah. Doing, uh, doing the, what's it called, like, uh, pacifist achievement. Yeah. Like, do, doing missions, but just sneaking in. Yes. Very much so. Uh, for this video, we have just an overview here. Um, for the map next to the uh, the docks and whatnot, I believe that's what this is here. Whenever it pops up again, because I can't pause it. This. Oh yeah, it's a gift, right? Yeah, it's next to yeah. um. I Ban Pa, I believe it's uh, Ban Pei, Ban Pa. Yeah, Ban Pei. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, right Tiger next to Ban Pei. We thought it was a submarine pin. That's what that is there. It's basically an old fishing village type deal. That I don't believe is used anymore. Oh, that's kind okay. of what it looks like. Place. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's a bit sad. I was hoping for a submarine pen. Dude, that that would have been awesome. We all it's know that. Shitty Soviet hey. submarines just half sunk. Well, but listen, we've we've confirmed that they listen to these videos and others people's videos for insight. We might have a submarine pen in the future. I, uh, to be fair, <laughs> I, there is still more areas on the water. There might still yeah. be a submarine pen in the map already. Yeah, but we don't know. That, that's just one little piece of coastline. That's, you know, and there is, I mean, from the map, like there is a reasonable amount of coastline across the eastern side of the map. So, And there, there might just be a submarine in that pen called the Tactical Gamer for a plug. Yeah. You know? No. No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, the, the, the SS Tactical <laughs> Gamer. That I can no, read that. Yeah. The SSTG. Yeah. That yeah. sounds legit. Just there saying, Rick, make it happen. Uh, I'll be a happy, happy boy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, moving on, so you can just see what they do here with Scala. This is absolutely insane. From bare bones to a basic building, basic outlay to rocks on the ground rubbish it's crazy yeah. what are your thoughts on this i think it looks amazing like the mm -hmm. like you said the rocks are like little bits of garbage or whatever that is on the ground the cones like the pylons knocked over like yeah or the all the small water puddles yes yes yeah Good notation yes which look freaking realistic with yeah a mirroring effect if if that's a word um, which I mean, obviously yep. that we all know that <laughs> that's going to be in this game because of everything else. I'm just curious whenever I walk up, how realistic will it be if there is the mirroring effect, which I'm sure there is. And will it lag or will it be in real time? Oh, yeah, that's a good because question. There's... Like most games the reflections always look like doo doo. Like when you actually look yeah. at them. Yeah, big time. Big time cause that, yeah, because that reflection looks very crisp. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look right here. You can see the pole right where my uh, deal is. Mm -hmm. Once the pole pops in, you can yeah. see the reflection pop really, really good. Yeah. It's, it's going to be awesome. But um, I'm going to go ahead and read this real quick before we get to the map. The geographically triangular layout ensures strategic 
balance among the three PMC factions, each operating from its own forward operating base, base camp. From there, plan your operations against the local hostile enemies and approach all interactions with extreme caution, considering potential threats from rival factions. In tactical warfare, this, uh, uh, wait, hold on. I, I'm surprised they use rival factions instead of like the whole Cause, opposing cause factions. Because they're, ri they're mean, all rivals. Yeah, I get yeah, what you're saying there. I'm just... Because like, I've been trying to say this, like the three different companies have hired them to find out. Like they're the, rivals, full-blown rivals. They aren't just opposing, they're fucking rivals because yeah. they're... Like, no one knows what happened, no one in the world. Like, satellites yeah. don't work. Like, something strange has happened, and the one that gets it first wins the fucking war. Like, that that's just how it is in every kind of, uh, like, the, uh, uh, when the stuff happens the in the world. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like... Like the like yeah uh, the U.S. Uh, one one of the drones crashes for example and like the first one there gets the drone like it's it's basically that something happened in the middle and they are rivals full blown rivals it's gonna be shoot on sight. I guess I I might have to look up the complete definition of rival because whenever I see rival it means enemy to me. So maybe no. I was not right. taught as a kid. <laughs> rival doesn't specific, rival doesn't specifically mean enemy. Rival typically yeah. means somebody that is in competition with you for something. Yeah. So yeah. The rivals, yeah, you're you know you're somebody you're playing uh, you know the the you're the opposing like football team you're playing against. Those are your rivals. Even yeah, yeah, even yeah. if you're not like even if you don't have like an established hate, right? Yeah. Enemies are yeah definitely you know people that you hate yeah. all the time. But I think rival fits for this because. Again, like they've said, it, it, you don't necessarily have to shoot on sight. Yeah. Right? yeah. You you can absolutely, if the players aren't complete shit asses, you can team up and like say move through like the, the center zone with you know three Mithras, four CSI, and two LRI guys just working together. Right. You just have to IFF. Yeah. yeah. I mean the the definition for rival here is a person who is competing for the same objective or goal as another who tries to equal or outdo the other so yeah yeah thank you, you for yeah. plugging that appreciate it then bow uh mm -hmm. yeah i mean is, i guess that makes rivals, more sense this is rivals with guns as well yes. it's not yeah too, it's not a football <laughs> or a baseball yeah, no exactly. <laughs> no it's but guns. the point still stands so these are people that are yeah, not yeah, necessarily yeah, like your sworn enemy of all time this is just people that you're in competition with for resources or for what's in the center like you know what i mean it's it's yeah yeah they're your, they're your enemy for the moment not necessarily forever yeah i guess i'm, I'm just saying any any enemies or rival factions mm. on a point mm. that you're trying to take or like intel or whatever it's gonna be enemies right then yeah. There. But if you see them in the wild, it's like, nah, I don't have to kill them or shoot at them. I can just pass or let them pass and then move on. But in in points of interest, it's gonna be enemies, guaranteed. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like again unless you come across the the friendliest players on the face of the earth. Like, I mean, again, I I play a lot of Sea of Thieves and like I love Sea of Thieves, yeah. but like. 99.9% .9 of the people I come across in Sea of Thieves, even if I have nothing on my ship, they are immediately my enemy. Like, they try their best to, to put me underwater. So, like, players typically shoot first, ask questions, never. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking, like you said, with the team and all, so you could be in... A, a location fighting these AI enemies, and you could 100% team up with, say, someone from another team, um, also a uh, PMC group. But then, you know, if you're feeling a bit greedy for some more loot, you can always betray them and backstab them, can't you? Yeah. I mean, you'd always have to be aware of that yourself, too, though, because they yeah. always do that to you. That's gonna happen so many times. I oh, can't God, yeah. wait. 
I can't wait for the guy that plays DC and uh, does his DC stories. I can't remember his name yeah. now, but he makes like an hour videos. Oh, yeah. Like about, I was like, Yeah, about his like starting and like just. Is that Frankie on a... DC? <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, but, yeah it, 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 it's, it's like he just meets else? random people, takes them in, and yeah. then like it's it's insane. Just yeah. that guy in this game would be fun to see. I'm excited to see like the awkward like standing around at the LZ like with the guys across the way, just sort of like so uh, <laughs> lovely weather we're having, eh? While we wait for a, a helicopter to come pick yeah. us up and just expect yeah. that somebody's gonna shoot at somebody. That's gonna be so. Cause the little bird only lands for 15 seconds. I think they said 15 or 20 seconds. Okay. Yeah. So if you're too far away and you don't get there in time, you're gonna get <laughs> you're gonna get left behind. I just think the potential yeah. for un unintended slapstick comedy is like way up there. <laughs> or something yeah. like this. I'm just yeah. worried about people camping. Maybe the the helo call in locations. You know, enemy teams. Well, I think, I think, like, if, 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 like, the original playtest had what, uh, there were, there was an LZ on either side of, of the, the town, right? So, in yeah. theory, if one, if you, if you start getting engaged from one side, you could always go to the other. So, I, th yeah. I think that, like, you're, there are, I'm hoping, there are enough LZs around, like, any given area that, like, your likelihood, like, unless there's, everybody's camping every LZ around one town, you should be able to like find an LZ that's not being, you know, under like not being watched. Hundred percent. Yeah. But you have you have to like I don't think the beginner town LZs are gonna get camped because the you I don't think you can pick up the loot fast enough. Even only yeah only if you kill the whole team and then go loot. But if you only kill one guy and there are three guys alive, the guy that got killed can just respawn and then get there within one to two minutes like it's gonna get so yeah, fast yeah. like i don't think the beginner towns are gonna get camped i mm. think tiger bay fort uh fort and midnight uh Sa sapphire is gonna get camped yeah. those yeah. three because they're equal around uh, equal distance away so i think uh, i think they will know how many minutes they have before that guy uh, comes back basically if anything i think you're right I'm pretty sure that's exactly what would happen. Um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and continue with just this little paragraph here. In tactical yep. warfare, distinguish friend from foe can be challenging. As you venture beyond your haven, you'll face increasingly formidable enemies and competing PMCs searching for valuable loot. At the heart of all the lies and at, at the heart of it all lies and Ignatic, enigmatic, can't say that word too great, and Enigmatic. currently yeah. inaccessible ground zero, created by the mysterious event. Rumors suggest that only the boldest will reach it one day. So, they're really emphasizing a difficulty here. Yeah, but they're saying currently inaccessible. I don't know if it is, though. Like... I think you can run in, but the AI might oh, not shit. be there. I don't know what I. Yeah, there hear. might like be nothing there or something. Or well, there might not but be. Yeah. The, or maybe they just won't have give you the equipment to enter, so you just die. Yeah, 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 it might be die. that, but it just not, won't give you the equipment to actually be able to explore that far in. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like uh, uh, hatchet runs. I'm gonna run naked, so I have as much for me <laughs> as possible. And I'm gonna run in there with meds. That's what I'm gonna do. Hatchet like, runs. Gonna... You're gonna go yeah, and die yeah. for the yes, for science. I'm, yes, I'm gonna go die for science because I want to see awesome what's enough. more in. Yeah, what's in there? Maybe to plan like routes for when it gets released, because. If you can pre-plan routes before it gets opened, like you're gonna have such a huge yeah. advantage. Yeah. I don't. I know this sounds bad, but say if people somehow manage to get cheats for this game and invincibility cheats, they always can go in there, can't they, and not die? Yeah. But hopefully, that'll be a good anti-cheat here. That's uh, actually a very fair point. 
Um, so if there are cheats and early access drops, um, so Grey Zone, I mean, uh, not Grey Zone, Ground Zero won't be accessible from the beginning, from what I remember uh, and recall from the pod pog cast. Uh, yes. Cheaters, that would not be good. If they yeah. could get in there, that would be bad. It needs to be an impenetrable barrier. Yeah. Yeah, unless they hard code you automatically die when you get... So you have the rings, right? So maybe yeah. you can go in the first ring without uh, dying immediately, but as soon as you go through the threshold on the second ring, you like you hard code to die with a timer yeah. of some sorts. Like honestly, I'd be completely fine with Ground Zero being nothing right now and nothing but trees with zero yeah. assets, oh, POIs, yeah, yeah. anything right now. Like I mean, they could they put need something to think in the about middle. this. Yeah, like they a need... little funny bomb or a smiley face. They, they need to think about this for cheaters, though, because that yeah. would just spoil it for us in the game, for sure. Nobody yeah. wants to see this until it's completely fully out and able to be traversed. Yeah. But, um, sadly, I can't really zoom in to the airfield or anything right here. So later on, if we have time, I'll pull up the map and we'll try and do it again. Yep. Yeah. So we All can right. see everything else. Uh, learn about Lamong's Genesis. What is Genesis? So I'm not sure exactly what Genesis is. It's a very short deal going on here. Uh, I'm just going to read both paragraphs real quick and we'll go ahead and discuss what Genesis may be with the current information we have. Lamong's Island ex excudes <laughs> an aurora of genuine history and authentically Authenticity, uh, authenticity enveloping you in its captivating environmental narrative. Every detail from the intricate natural debris scattered throughout the jungle, all the POIs that you're going to run into, to the remnants of hasty evacuations and the scars of bandit assaults on dilapidated homes, adds to the island's tale of a tumultuous past. You will learn more about its history and struggles from details scattered uh, throughout the country. Be it a flipped chair, a smashed uh, photo, or an unmarked grave, you will understand the turmoil plaguing the region even before the event. Embark on a unique journey through your assigned task whether retrieving vital intelligence or valuable items from the betterment of your PMC. Uh, your own more or your own moral compass. The choice is yours. Each quest item serves a purpose, enriching your experience with valuable insight. Every location you explore unveils a narrative steeping in the aftermath of preceding atrocities. Whether it's a shooting range with a disturbing array of targets limited only by the visitor's wealth, which has me very confused for that um, small little sentence there, or the eerie origins of ghostly tales surrounding a nearby fishing village. Finding them might be challenging because intel is scarce and the enemy is paranoid, but if you look closely, you will discover clues that will aid you in achieving your goals. All right, so Genesis. Well, obviously, Genesis, there's also a term, basically genocide. And you just see a whole bunch of death going on here. But I think yeah. Genesis is more in-depth than this. You see more death here. Yeah. I mean, uh, you can see the human target tied up to the post on that first gif yeah yeah like I basically right I here i think they mean it's the start of the story yes genesis, genesis. is creation genesis okay. like the yeah. book of genesis like if you're you know into i'm not religious but into religion like the book of genesis is the book of creation yeah. so i think so I, the yeah. lamong's genesis is like like the creation of Lamong, basically what what has happened in Lamong to lead up to the point where you enter the game. Like I think I think it's it's a word they've used to describe that like 
learn about the backstory, like learn about how this 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 country came to be in the position that it's in now. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, just a quick little uh thought from my brain. This little scene here has me thinking of the movie Behind Enemy Lines. Have y'all seen that one? I I have mm -hmm. to have years ago, but it's been a while. Yeah. I didn't think I have. Yeah. That's cool what you've seen. Uh, behind the, the, Enemy the Lines. The bodies in the hole. Yeah. yeah, the dead bodies in the hole. Um, yeah. It was like a scene where the lead actor, which I... Thanks, Matthew McConaughey. I... No, it... Uh, let me Google it's it. not Matthew McConaughey. It's fucking... Maybe it is. I don't know. It's it's been like 12, 15 years since I've last seen this. I'm just is getting that the... one about uh, Vasily Saitsev. Is that the one you mean? What? The uh, war, uh, World War II. I I'm not sure exactly. No, 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 no. Well, not World War II. No, no, no. There's one that was like with Gene Hackman and Owen. Will there's been a bunch of behind enemy lines. Yeah, Owen, Owen Wilson. Williams. Yeah, Owen, Owen, Owen Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. yeah, that one. That's wow 100% guy. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I knew it was kind of a Matthew McConaughey look like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bad news. I've got to go in like three minutes, but. Well, I appreciate you having on, Dan Bao. Yeah. I mean, I'm still here for three, yeah. three yeah. two minutes. Yeah. So. Give, us, give us 180 seconds at least. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, yeah, just that movie there. But uh, what are y'all thoughts on this picture here? So, talking about Genesis, obviously definitely gives the vibes of the origins because the roadside picnic is here yes that that yeah, is very smart with genesis roadside picnic yep. that's like their cold hard start off that's what the, that's ba the game is yeah. yeah based on inspiration thank you for the word um yeah i mean i don't really any see anything else genesis besides maybe the helicopter this was like one of the first little birds or whatever in the AO or something mm. and I don't know it's uh, I don't know where that ties in but. I can't tell but when it goes to the town it looks like there's some more military-esque vehicles mm. like in the background you can see some sort of uh, a regular car it looks like just a uh, SUV just a, or a car maybe hard to tell. Yeah. one thing I see if you remember, you know the the sentence that was down lower that that confused you. Yes. A little bit. Scroll yes. down a bit. So the whether it's a shooting range with a disturbing array of targets. So then scroll back up and watch that GIF. Nope, yeah, that one there. Okay, give it a second. Right there. Yeah, I'll be that body. That's a, that's the shooting. That's that's those yeah. are targets. That's a shooting range, and that's a dude tied to that pole on the left. And that's a PMC checking out what the yeah. hell is going on. Yeah, that's very smart. That's a very good call there. So Never would have thought that. That's like that's a like a. I almost that that almost like that sentence almost gives me like uh, hostile. Like you remember the movie Hostel, where yeah. like people people could just pay money to be not very nice to people. Um, <laughs> so I I wonder if that's something like that. Like that's going to be a. You know, you could well, you like the, the the rich people could come to this island and pay money to basically execute locals or something like that, like yeah. some really messed up stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's a definitely a very good call because I didn't even realize there was a body there. I'm not gonna lie, it. I yeah, guess it, I was watching it over and over again. <laughs> I guess it throws me off that um that little tag portion isn't up here for this video in reference. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's yeah, pretty damn good. And this is the the second video down here. That's yeah. the portion from the uh the scene in the video. Um, yeah. I think it was Devlog two that was released or something, but it was very early on. We've seen this character tied to the chair, yeah. and we come in from his yeah. right side, or well, that from left the side, camera's right side. side, his left side. Yeah. If you're tied in the chair. But, uh, yeah. yeah, this is the torture room, apparently. Or a yeah. bunker. I mean, it looked kind yeah. of fucking dark well, down there. Just saying. Can I... Know. I need to dip now, but I just want to say there'll probably be some Ill intel near that room with the guy in the torture. And oh, it's a yeah. red yeah. light, so it could definitely be a bunker with some emergency light and all. Yeah? Yeah. Red light, bunker. Oh. For sure, good call. Yeah, sure. But uh, I appreciate oh, yeah, you joining, yeah, yeah. everybody. Go ahead and yeah. give a uh, comment out to uh, Dan Bao leaving. Yeah, sweet dreams, guys. 
I'm going to Later, bye. brother. Bye. Hugs and kisses. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Bye. See ya. Bye. But uh, if we're not going to cover anything else here, I'll just go ahead and move on. I think we're pretty close to being yeah. done here. Yeah, that, that's I think, pretty self-explanatory there. I think that's just backstory and, and like uh, environmental storytelling. The last video. Oh. The particle effects. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the wind. Wow. I the... would rather have, have it so they don't show the black things that fly around when you land. But the dust, like the, the dust is yeah, the, and the, the wind. The like... dust is fine, mm -hmm. but not the other stuff. No, but if you saw like the trees blowing in the wind when the helicopter flew over. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Very legit. This, um, you're going to love the ending portion for whoever has not seen it yet, which I believe you have not seen it yet, Major. No, I, I don't know. I haven't. It's uh coming up very shortly here. Look at that stone. That stone that's is scattered. A, that's a good looking stone right there. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get stone. I'm a pretty I'm a I'm a big expert on big dumb rocks. Look at that. He puts that's, his that's gun. I don't I don't, I, I don't yeah. like that. Look at him like closely. That. Yeah. <laughs> he just got tapped. I yeah, I don't like that. I don't like when he puts his gun up because you're just telegraphing. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, I was. I would maybe, rather have my gun in the water. Maybe you could have the option, or maybe not held up that high. You could hold it with yeah. two hands, like uh, originally what, uh, yes. what yeah, people I mean, would do if you're held prone. horizontal over their head. Not, yeah. not because even that, like half the gun was underwater already. So like, you know, no, that was the, just like, a stock, right? Uh, I think. No. Yeah, I guess they're the yeah the stock's still above. Yeah. But if, if there's any water that's deeper than that, then. The gun's yeah, gonna be screwed. submerged anyways. Yeah. Which I, I'm it pretty sure it doesn't really matter. Like, I mean, yeah, it's a video game. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this no, is. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, real life. Sorry. I'm pretty yeah. sure this is what they're talking about. Um. Of non-traversable areas, whenever flooding happens, because obviously you give another foot, he's not crossing that. It'd be up to his head, you know. Un unless he swims. Honestly, yes. that's when I think they're gonna start to include boats. Mm. I, could I mean, it, it could be. I, I'd i love they're to see that, and I'd love to see a map portion like expansion some kind of way. You know, uh, people always love that. That's one thing that keeps Tarkov keep, to keep going. Constantly new areas come up. It doesn't matter how many times you play the same map over and over again. It's, oh, hey, there's new stuff in here. There's new stuff in here, which there's going to be more POIs here. But like just new maps in general where there's locations you've never been. Like when Streets came out, dude, you could explore that for 100 games and not see everything. I moved, With the uh, expansion. I moved the, button. I moved the button that I mapped to muting my mic since I'm coughing and hacking. and I forgot which button I changed it to. So No, this is all good. Barely I, heard it. Apologize so, for dying in the mic. But uh, uh that, that river is flooded because I've seen the other rivers, like mm -hmm. or the rivers normally when they're non-flooded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It it all looks very very good. All the oh, movement, yeah. everything like this. It's, dude, I, I can't. Wait. Look at that. Go back a little bit. Oh, on the, the video oh, like wait. right near the end. I, I went with the volume <laughs> button. Was he so went like to where he was shooting. I guess he was walking through the bush shooting. Back a little more. That that should be good. Look at so, the grass. As, as soon as he shoots. Yeah. I'm gonna do all another the foliage one immediately you. moves. That's awesome. That looks good. Yeah, pause, 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 pause. Oh shoot, sorry. On the gun when he shoots. Yeah. Okay, so what uh, so what uh, is he running? He's running five five six. Yeah, scope gotta... I haven't seen though. That's a new scope. That looks like an Elcan Specter. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a new scope. Yeah, it looks like an Elcan for sure, because that's all I use yeah. in Tarkov. You could see the iron sights for the yeah. front and the back it's for the, the top. Sites. But it's the yeah, it, it looks like the bigger version. Like it's not the four 
four times ACOG style. It's the uh, yeah or Elcan. It's the six six yeah, it, times. It definitely looks a lot more different because like the Elcan I'm used to Tarkov wise is you wouldn't be able to see it's... daylight through here through the gun yeah. in my opinion from what uh, I remember. There's, yeah, Elcan does manufacture like a lot of different optics. Oh, I mean, different a lot of types. people think of the 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 optic that's on. Uh, you see on a lot of, of saws or M249s, which I think it's the M79 or something like that, which that one is is always like really popular in video games. But this one, I think, if if it's the one I think it is, is like a much more modern design with like, uh, you know, like adjustable. I mean, the real one, I don't know if, if they're doing it, it in the game, yeah, the real one has like adjustable it, magnification and stuff. Yeah, I think it's a Spectre, but it's a Spectre yeah. one, to, 1 to 6 yeah i th i think it's the bigger one yeah uh, could be. Does it, wait does it have one to six let's check uh l can yeah let's see here yeah yeah yeah. it's yeah. this one okay. so right, 1.5 to, to six Ooh. yeah later uh see ya later brother take it easy glad wait, to have wait, you i thought somebody said they were leaving no you did leave okay uh so let's see here all right wait why can yeah chat that one, I think it's that one. Uh, said the chat. Side chat. Your message could not be sent. Okay, fuck. Yeah, that, fuck. you're fired. You can't send nothing. Uh, copy image. Can I send an image? Upload fail. What the fuck? Was it too big? You got too girthy of an image? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, it's a Spectre DR. Spectre okay. DR? Okay. Uh, I'll, uh, yeah, it's the big, it's a bigger Elcan. I'll plug it for the image. I'll overlay it. There you go. Yeah. Um, you can I'll fix send it. Post. it to you. Yeah, I'll send it to you. I'll go ahead and just start idea. finishing with the this paragraph right underneath real quick. Yeah. Dive into a into the stunning environment of Le Mans and soak in the vibrant atmosphere and vivid natural colors of Van Van Van. Pretty sure that's how you say that. Um, yeah. Our reference location for this area. The dense Southeast Asia jungle setting, necessities, immense foliage, a high level of detail, realistic lighting, and extreme distance visibility to truly transport you to this immersive environment. Dynamic lighting breathes life into each area, room, and item. Highlighting the, the lush richness of southeast um asian scenery mm -hmm. i'm having yeah, issues trying to re freaking read anything right now <laughs> vang viang is like dead center in laos nice i love lumen like the lumen is so good sorry i did it again <laughs> i clicked the wrong button which uh still confuses me like uh so i know it's scala and they're just adding like textures over base textures over more textures. But what is the image whenever it's the fullest? Is it this one or is it this one? I don't think it's that um, one. I think it was the one before the light, me, light one. So me an image the best one is this. Uh, this one. Let's see here. So that's, that's normal. That's Lumen. That's a global. Uh, I think that one, yeah. Good. Screen. Like this one? Or that one, yeah. Yeah. I thought so. It was one before that two. light, light one. Regardless, they actually all look really, really good to me. Just that really bright one right here looks a little too bright and unrealistic. This looks yeah, good. I, that looks really good. That looks... You can't really tell too much of a difference. This is best. I don't, I yeah. don't think any of those are like the final product. I think this is like... Each one of these is like the base image with one of the, the layers put on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So like the, the videos that played up higher, they showed like the finished product where yeah. this is like just the individual, like I said, like like that, that plus all the other stuff on top of it, basically. Yeah, the location just, I guess, showing what Scala and um, UE5 can do, I guess. Yeah. Which, um, I mean, it looks yeah, really, really good. Changes. It looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and read again. <laughs> Le Mans Island is brought to you brought, is brought to okay wow I just cannot li fucking read it's brought to life by Scala a cutting edge technology for crafting detailed worlds and expansive landscapes in a 
fraction of the time. Which is fucking very cutting edge from uh, mm -hmm. what it states. Incorporating authentic natural behaviors derived from true-to-life data. Whether it's a defense for forest, vast rice fields, rugged mountain ranges, or the overall terrain. Scala populates the land with unparalleled accuracy, optimizing performance without sacrificing visual quality. So, basically, that's just a, another way to state what it stated uh, earlier above in, like, the first paragraph or so that I stated. And uh, had but read... Goes in... But, um... Just think about this for future games. What happens if there's a future... So, you remember the game The Crew? Yep. Yeah. Nope. What happens if The Crew meets Scala? The Crew was basically a... United States version of like where you could race your cars and shit. Yeah. Like, it was like Need Forza for Horizon. But yeah, Need for Speed Underground speed. type thing, but not underground yeah. and fucking. You were a cop yeah. or something in the first one, I think. Yeah, you you could do like so many different things in that game. But it was a very truncated, like you know, best hits version of the United States. Like yeah. The, yeah, you know, the okay. states weren't separated by states. It was like the eastern U.S. and then like western or, you know, the, the Midwest or the Great Plains. Like it wasn't like individual states. So it was uh, it was a very truncated version of the U.S. But um, and imagine using this with Google Maps or something. If Scala was to acquire like a contract with them, which I'm sure they would probably have to do because Google Maps owns those images i'd imagine if not and yeah. it's free I, I, I doubt it's free everything's fucking money nowadays but yeah. um you could make an insane fucking game off of that just saying an insane single player game if not multiplayer you yeah. know it on just the aspect of this system gala yeah, but you im Port fucking Google Drive, go, go, I mean Google Drive, Google Maps or whatever the hell, and yeah. basically tell it what you want, what areas to focus on, and dates, years, all that, and you just go through and explore. Yeah, it, it would be I, pretty crazy, one, in my opinion, like a ones, like a truck the, driver game that you have that you that you like to do. <laughs> Imagine that oh, yeah. on an immaculate fucking scale. You pull up to the yard, and it's the same yard <laughs> in the game. You know, I, I already get triggered enough when I pull into truck stops and I recognize it from my time spent suffering there. So, well, imagine, you know, dude, it'd be freaking oh, crazy, bro. bro. Imagine playing the, the game and you're like, I want to try out this gas station, but it looks a little tight. Let me get in the game and see. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it'd be, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be, from, it would like, be fucking stupid, crazy. It'd be like, like Microsoft Flight Simulator if, if they didn't use Bing Maps. Yeah, dude, like, it, it'd be, yeah, bro, I, I don't know. This, Scala, so, just hearing about this makes me like, mm -hmm. wow, that's crazy. Yeah, so one thing I think, I don't think Scala is a program I I itself. I think, uh, I think, I think Mara talked about it like obscurely a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think it's their own, so their own built in assets, all, all their assets built in. So if they oh, want to okay. build this kind of map, they just pull everything from mm. Scala, but it's integrated into UE5 engine, basically. It's their own it's thing. Plugin. Yeah, yeah, basically. It's a plugin mm. into Unreal Engine 5, so they can pull everything much, much, much easier from their, like, uh, their source library of all the content that's in the game and not maybe yeah. in the game yet. I you think can... that's what it is. It just makes it so much easier to build everything and foster. Well, uh, even still, you could take Google. Um, it would be more yeah, of yeah, like yeah. Google yeah. images, I guess. Um, of yeah, like yeah. Google Maps, like how they take the street side views and stuff. And you could map out everything mm. pretty much. Like, yeah. The way the description looks, I, it, it sounds like it's it's a, a, a like a world population technology, like something that can be used to like generate a forest or or yeah. generate like a, again it says like dense forest vast rice fields like it's like a 
a technology. I, it, it sounds like it's something that helps streamline. Yes, yes, the, exactly. The terrain creation process. Like I, I think yeah. I think it screwed up earlier. I think we were talking about Scala, so it was the lighting system, and that was Lumen. But this is yeah, uh, yeah. This is definitely. I think it's like a terrain, probably something that that helps them populate a large amount of terrain very quickly, or at least very yes. efficiently. Yeah. I would love more in depths on Scala. If devs oh, are yes. uh, listening to this, we would love a video on Scala, what what, uh, what it does, and stuff like that. Because uh, I would yeah. love to know. Because if it gets like, because I think they can sell plugins or like rent out. That would be really cool to actually know exactly what Scala does because they haven't talked about I think Mara talked about it with Rilo like one or two sentences about Scala in that interview yeah. it wasn't it wasn't that much well I'll, uh, but yeah I'll do one better um for whoever's watching this if you know the person working directly with Scala or persons if they want to do an interview with me I'd be fucking yeah. amazed by that and would love it because this is just amazing. We want to know more about this. The Probably not all of the community, but everybody I know that's in the damn Discord every morning, every day, they want to know more right now. The real we, ones. We, yeah, the real OGs. Not the, yeah. oh, hey, let's hop in because he's streaming. Is it Grey Zone Warfare? It's not. Later. You know, you yeah, get the constant ba doom ba dam ba doom ba da ba doom ba You think you're playing don't, pinball. Don't share any of the info with the people that ask uh, when release date every other day. Yeah, I mean, come on. Let's do it with the OGs. I'm totally mm -hmm. down. I, Hit me up. Because I would really love, like, because if I remember correctly, it's it's their own build syst uh, system or whatever, whatever Scala is. Uh, but yeah, they own it basically. So that would be really cool to know what it does. And because yeah, because with how this map looks, like. Christ Almighty, if that's... <laughs> Dude, I, I know, I, I, I can't wait. Just imagine what they can do with this. So, not to yeah. touch too much onto the the interview with the podcast, which we're going to do a video hopefully tomorrow on and release later on in the uh, the week. Dude, it's... I, I kind of lost my brain, my train of thought, because there's just so much information. Uh, Mara stated, so it's 48 players right now. That they're that basically they have the ability to increase the player count if that's something people want. And in yeah. terms that will increase more PvP also. That that that's like a double fix. But if they can do that, then they can make the map bigger. They can knock down some mountains and do some expansions. Or Stuff like they that. can just use the west side of the map that isn't actually <laughs> From what we know, from what we know in quotations, remember, because yeah. we, we don't know exactly. Who knows? We might get in and there's fucking boats for the dock side. And then whoever's yeah. on the west side, they have a whole bunch of area to explore over there. Who knows? I mean, in the future, I'd absolutely love for things to be a little bit more balanced in the situation of there's water on one side, on the right side, compared to... Yeah. It, dude, if you're, if you're northwest... Bro, you have a mountain of scenery. Pun intended. Yeah. That's that's oh, yeah. quite literally and, all you have. And if the west side ever opens up, they're yeah. gonna have a huge, huge advantage on the west side. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, because they can just go straight south pretty much instead of like having to cut northwest or do west yeah. or whatever. Exactly. So there's just there's situations they could bring out and so you, you know. But, what is it? How long did it take the Warzone map to be built? I think they said like it took them three years or something, like the whole map. Oh, that's or whatever. Yeah, that's a good, very, very good point. And it looks, I, I, it's not as I populated remember, as is, people. N yeah, exactly right. And th they have only worked for this how many years? Two, three years? Well, and they uh, have like, and it's. We definitely need to get the date from now on. Uh, I don't uh, think there's an official date. Uh, on the start date for Grey Zone Warfare, which is actually a good question to ask uh, Rick. I'll probably ask him that um, if there, I could get the official start date because we definitely need to keep up to 
date with that information because it could it could have yesterday it just became three years and we just don't know i yeah. hate to be saying two years two years two years and now i know i've done 50 podcasts and it's three years or four years you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. but yeah as far as right now i'd say it's still two years two and a half possibly but um Two years nonetheless. Yeah, I mean, that, that sounds about right for video game development, especially if it's launching into early access before, like, a full release, right? I mean, we, uh, I think a lot of people now, with the exception of, of, like, recurring titles like Call of Duty, I think a lot of us are conditioned to, like, we you know, AAA new. titles take five, six years to develop. But, like, yeah. you know, a, a lot of games, especially if the stars align, the technology works, and, like, the team is 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 on their game, like... You know, I, video games never used to take that long to create, right? You're talking like, you know, two, three years. I mean, 18 months in some cases. Like Star yeah. Wars Knights of the Public 2 came out in like 16 but, months or something. But that was older stuff as well. You didn't have to do as much as oh, you absolutely. do but today. That was all cutting edge at the time. Like that's, you yeah. know, yeah. The, they're always still but, having to, to push the envelope. Yeah, but the time-wise, even if there was cutting edge back then, they didn't have yeah. to program like ray tracing or whatever. But yeah, I, yeah. Mm. But still, if they only worked for this for three years and this is how far they got, and the Scala helped it to cut down a lot, that's insane to think about. If Scala, Scala is be, yeah. if Scala is that effective to building maps uh, with Unreal Engine Five or maybe other engines that yeah. could be like really really nice to have in other games as well i can see it being a very good uh like source of income for them if if it yeah. comes out the way they would expect it to like to license yeah. it out just look yeah, at exactly. like cry engine or again engines like unity or unreal like i realize those are full engines rather than plugins but like you know cry engine was made for crisis but it's like used yeah. in all sorts of games right so yeah and, and if you can like plug in Scala to CryEngine or Unity or yeah. whatever, Frostbite and those, or yeah, the and Crytek is still making money off of that CryEngine. The options yeah. are endless with the Scala yeah. system that they have, uh, or plugin, however which we could call it. Um, but just just to touch base on something here, imagine the underground bunker system this could create oh god or have already we don't know right <laughs> yeah that too or have already this i i just don't even know you know i don't i don't yeah. even know and, where to yeah. go with this honestly because it's and it's a persistent map right so the bunkers are always there or yeah or the tunnel systems yeah yeah are, are always there so I... it, you you if you go west, you are going west. It's not like in other games, like you're going west, but on the map wise, you're not going west. You're going like east or whatever, because they don't overlay the maps in the same direction. But yeah, in this, in this, it would be like if you're going west in the tunnel, you're going west as well. That would be fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah, I get what you're and saying. I think, like from I've I've played very few games in Unreal Engine Five, but I know UE Five does have the capacity for like tunnels and cave systems so like pretty easily so i i could see them doing some like pretty sweet either bunkers or like underground caves or something like We've that i've seen bunkers already but we yeah. don't know how big they are but yeah. yeah i'd like to see a bunker system that reaches the top of one of these peaks on the mountain for like an overwatch overlook position and that'd be a Ooh. major poi yeah so, some stuff like that because it's, part, it's endless yeah. I think the bun pie is probably the or or somewhere in the ground zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's the only mountains we've seen that is on the map or whatever. Because mm -hmm. everything else is out. So those mountains in the background there, those are out of bounds basically. Those are like yeah, like the edge of the map. Yeah, the out of bounds portion. Let me just scroll back up to it. Mm. So yeah, it's basically around the base camps. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you zoom in on this, you could see some texture issues. So we're basically thinking this line is our map, and yeah. what it was this line. Uh, one, yeah, yeah, that one, oh, thirteen, shoot. yeah. Oh shoot! Uh oh, pressing too much buttons. Yeah, thirteen yeah, and one. twenty-one. 
So your playable yeah. area is 13 to 21, is what we're estimating. And yeah. I would guess... Ex I'd except say... the mountains there, at like 16, yeah. to the left of base camp, the base camp A. In the yeah, bottom. that. I'd say you could yeah. probably go a little bit past the uh, vertical 17. The longitude it would be line. cool if you could actually go yeah. up in the mountains. Well, just pretty like, much the entirety of, of yeah, the base camp in the northeast is over that line. Yeah, so like base camp in the bottom to the right there, where your mouse is. If you could actually walk up that mountain, that would be really cool. I don't think we can, but that would be insane if you could walk up those mountains. Yeah. Uh, well, they look, I mean, they look really steep. Like, yeah, like you have the shadows in the map and everything. It's steep, sure, but if you walk on the ridge, maybe if the ridge goes all the way down. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but yeah, I would love to climb mountains mm. just to get one of those disgusting points where I can sit and aim and shoot I, people. Yeah, I'd like to do some cave diving too, some spelunking. Or oh, cave yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, natural <laughs> caves. Oh, that's yeah. good. That would be that's insane. what we thought this was. Something like this over here. Uh, I think that was Operator Sin again. Yeah. Who yeah. came up with that. I mean, that, uh, thought that looks like water, but where it like, trickles off to the west. That yeah. could go into a cave system. Like, have water. Yeah. Just yeah. how like black the uh, surrounding area or east, is. Or yeah, e yeah. That's true. Or east, east, east. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's knows? like... It, it kind of travels east if you like it's there's holes in the ground or whatever yeah that goes towards banpa and then it goes under banpa out to that little fishing village or whatever because it has well, the same uh like... i want i want to see what the fucking pizza slice is between 16 and 15 is and uh on, on the line 13 between 16 and 15 up by the the Kuvangza, the top left Top left, Kivongza. Left, left two more squares. One, yeah, down a little bit. Oh, right yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pizza lake, man. <laughs> there's two pizzas. There's one li uh, light brown as well. Is, is that Tony's oh, pizza? Oh, yeah, yeah, right next to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just Tony's oh, pizza gonna... landmark. Yeah. Is that a landmark? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in. I, I zoomed in. That's that's Papa Fox's pizza but, right uh, there. One thing <laughs> I wanted to point out, I don't remember. I talked about it in the video but we talked about it before this ground zero area is bigger which means yeah, a lot bigger either they listened to my video or they decided to go on off their own to do it themselves i believe it was my first podcast with a few of y'all but it was probably it, you let's let's just say it was definitely you know your full influence i mean but... i i have no idea but it's the square footage is I'd say almost triple the size. At least, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's at least at so least double, at almost least, triple, dude. It's it, this was the original. I would say something around. Yeah. I would. I would say it is. Uh, I have them overlaid in another picture here. So I would say it. It at least like sixty seventy percent bigger than the old gray okay. uh, ground zero. Mm -hmm. But yeah. still, that's a lot more huge. Like yeah, yeah. it's so the, it's so basically insane. the second yeah the second ring there on ground zero oh. from the outside that was basically yeah yeah that ring that was basically the the old map with ground zero yeah and they just added one more layer I guess and it's like it like it almost reaches in the airfield or like it goes yeah. outside of the forest there for example. Mm -hmm. um, it but almost wonder, reaches the rice fields into towards uh, north oh, northwest side as well. Yeah, it's almost in Banpa, and then the sawmill on the yeah. west side. I wonder though if if that like is that just like once the final product is complete, for example, like let's say it's radiation or something. Like, does that just mean yeah. that like they just the map hasn't changed, but now just more of the map hurts you when you get into it? Like, I don't know if that's necessarily like the right A idea. Good thing? No. Uh, yeah. I mean, it could be gradual. So yeah, you only you only you like you only need some light meds to be in the outer ring, and then if you want yeah. to go closer in, you need like maybe a respirator or Re maybe you need like a, a radiation uh, hmm. uh, a gaga kind a uh, gaga counter because there's hot spots. Away. Remember, yeah, this is the in game. 
this is where people yeah. don't want to be. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe you don't only need a when you're inside that zone, there's mm -hmm. hotspots, tons of hotspots. So you need a gaga counter to find your way through. Mm -hmm. Hotspots, that might but be it only. also safe zones within. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think about that. You know We've I, never thought about that before. Yeah. There's what possibly like gas chamber areas where you can lock off yeah. and seal the gas out. Like and who knows? What I what I think would be interesting, and I might I might get hated for this, is the closer you get, like let's say by the time you hit the second ring, the the radiation in the air starts screwing with your map. So like you lose the ability to navigate with the map or lose oh, the ability yeah. to see. So that you have to like you said you use a Geiger counter or something to to find the compass. center yeah, yeah. compass so that like because yes everyone will go there um but like if if the game is you know if, if what they're saying is they sort of want to have pvp not be the focus like making it then harder to navigate also makes it a little bit harder to find pvp if everybody in that area has no map all you're going by is like what you Sound. can see right walking through i'm assuming it's jungle right so yeah. i i think that could be interesting too and give people like this like oh man we're we're in the shit now like our maps don't work like we don't have an exfil or something you have to walk out of the place like you could just make it more foreboding yeah oh yeah i didn't think about that mm. like the lcs there won't be any lcs inside yeah no so if you want yeah if you want to get out you need to like you have to get help. out of the zone Oof first Oof yeah it. yeah <laughs> Freaking Kusha. And that's a big area to walk around in. Oh, yeah. That's. Yeah, let's see. That's one, two, three. That's four squares. That's five. So that's about six yeah, square kilometers. About. Yeah. That's quite a lot. And like that's, north that's south like is shorter, but that could be yeah, hillier that... too. Like that could be more mountainous oh, and yeah, harder to so... navigate. Yeah, so the middle is just hills, just hills Ooh. and valleys. Yeah. Uh, we've seen, a, uh, I've dug up some couple of pictures that uh, shows the ground, uh, ground zero from the outside. Okay. And it's just, it's just hills and the hills are quite big. Like they're like, what is it? Like, I would say a hundred meters, hundred meters high. Mm -hmm. So they, they aren't small. They're very um, big. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the wrong picture. It's crazy. It's the picture. Yeah, like, yeah, it's about the hundred meter height. Mm. They're, they're, like, they're huge. Like, yeah. I would say one, two, yeah. Like, that's in, yeah. They're probably way huger than that, but I'm not sure. I'm, uh, I'm going to finish up with this last paragraph. Mm. Yeah. Because I am done with reading after this. <laughs> Every leaf and plant is meticulously simulated based on real life data, including reference studies of how nature behaves in Laos and surrounding countries, ensuring a dynamic and immersive experience, whether it's bending trees in response to a passing helicopter or the subtle movements of foliage in the breeze. Lamongs, Lamong pulsates with life, drawing you deeper into its world. As you navigate its treacherous landscapes and unravel its mysteries, the world of Grey Zone Warfare awaits your exploration and conquest. Every move matters. Once again, they're putting emphasis on every move matters, and they are going far and beyond for this game to be set in the surrounding countries of Laos and Laos itself in Southeast Asia. This is... Dude, I, I've never seen a game like this. They're, they're just going far and beyond. There's no way this game flopped. They have to get it correct from the beginning and put Tarkov yeah. and every other game to shame. They will become... The Ballas Gate 3, but you, in the FPS... Uh, yeah. That, so would be, that's, that would be great. They'll be a yeah. AAA title within a few years. Mm -hmm. If they're, that's if what they're aiming down for. Further, yeah, it's just the this, embargo oh, content yeah. list. Yeah. Mm. Like, it looks like a AAA game, like, at least graphically, right? Exactly. Like, so. It's just, how does it play? Which we've heard from playtesters, it sounds good, 
Yeah. You know, the visuals, quality, and then audio, they've already fixed so many things. Remember we had frogs, issue with frogs on the yeah. 23 Frog minute boss, fucking uh footage. Mm-hmm. I think at that okay, time yeah. they were playing the build for the alpha test and they fixed the frogs. And we didn't have I'm, that issue. One yeah. thing I like realized when I like at today actually is most of the content creators we've seen is American or or North American. Yeah. And they complained about, oh, they're just walking when I shoot them and stuff. It's like, wait, isn't that just latency? To be honest, like, I guess it depends. Like, were they were they on European servers or American servers? Because that, yeah. So I'm guessing they are on EU servers actually, because I'm because I think they connected to um, I can't remember which country they are in, but yeah, I think they connected to EU. And I didn't see any EU content creators. I saw North America and Australia, right? One, uh, one so, Australian. One, uh, who the fuck is it? I, I'm trying to think of his name now. He's, he's an English guy. I think he was, like, there were a couple okay. of couple of Brits that got to do some stuff as well. Yeah, because right. some guys were had really good, like, they shot yeah. and they fell, like, immediately. Mm-hmm. They didn't seem to have any problems, but like Late Operator insane. Drewski, Clean, the, those North mm-hmm. America guys, mm-hmm. they shot and they just kept walking and then they died. I think that was latency. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very, very if good point. they were point. just walking for sure. Because some guys didn't have any problems, but some guys had. Yeah. Well, was, um, the name of the channel I'm thinking of is Jack Frags, but I, I, I'm trying to look now if he if he actually yeah. played or not. No, oh, yeah, he played. He's, yeah, yeah, he played. Yes, he's, he's just... a Brit. Yeah, oh, I he thought is. so. That's okay. who you were yeah. talking about. Yeah. Uh, and there was just... uh, one I watched where it was like some British. There was an American too, but it was like a British, former British military, and like an American soldier played through, uh, played through the mission, like using oh, military uh, style. You know, yeah, like using what they yeah. what they had yeah. learned. It's the same thing. That guy was British as well. And they didn't have, uh, yeah, uh, Guild or uh, G-I-L-D, uh, I think its name is. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I, th- I, I don't, I didn't see him having problems with the uh, like, uh, mm-hmm. bot or the AI dying. Yeah. Uh, so it might just be latency that everyone whined about, like, oh, why, 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 why are they walk- walking around and stuff? when you yeah. just shot them, the, that might just be latency. So they like the net code might actually be really good because I got word there for a while. Like, shit, is the net code this? But if it's just latency, then it's fine. Cause yeah, I mean, no you're one... in Europe, you'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just us over yeah. here that will suffer. Yeah, but I think they have servers there, but I don't think they played. I don't think they played on the U.S. servers. Yeah, cause... I'm, I'm sure they'll. I, I, I. Like, this sucks. I feel bad, but like it seems like typically, the only part of the world that ever like loses out when it comes to servers for games is is like Australia and Oceania. So yeah. like they get they get Asian yeah. servers. So, yeah. But I'm sure there will be like North American and probably like Western slash like you know Western Eastern or like Central European servers. Uh, we usually have. Uh, um... Uh, east or west? Mm. Where if we count Russia, uh, Russia is always the east, or yeah, it's, or it's Russia and EU basically. Yeah. Uh, but that's basically east and west, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And one thing we talked about a, a couple of days ago, or like y- yesterday, was mm-hmm. mods for this game. Yeah. But. Instead of having the normal AI, it's zombies. Oh god! So I would love that. It's just saying. Yeah. Yeah, like this game as a zombie game would be f- fucking awesome, to be honest. You could go cut down all the vegetation, board up any house you want, claim it as a base. <laughs> no, but like yes. they talked about. Uh, they <laughs> talked about a thousand AI, right? Yeah. Thousand AI. If they can have a thousand AI with shooting, wouldn't mm-hmm. they be able to have like? I don't know, maybe fifteen hundred or AI can... that that's run at you and like like claw at you because they don't have to yeah. shoot, right? They don't I have can... to have the aiming. I can pretty much guarantee you that if 
the developer eventually adds uh, like dedicated or like private servers, guaranteed somebody oh, yeah, yeah. will create yeah. a zombie mod, whether it's like a you know Daisy and Gray Zone or something like that. That like absolutely, I'm certain will happen if 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 they allow us yeah. to have our own servers. Because I don't, I don't like Daisy because the zombies is too spread out. It's like yeah. I walk into town and there's like four zombies. Like, oh yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> Very funny. For yourself, like, I fight the zombies all the time in that stupid game. Okay, I never find them. So, I just uh, but I want, uh, I want, I want, I want to flood it with zombies. Like yeah. fifteen hundred zombies on this big of a map. If you have them. Uh, centered around uh, around like sawmill fort or whatever right that would be mm -hmm. insanely fun well i wonder uh, too like if if the zombies would technically have much simpler ai if you could then yeah, bring exactly. the numbers up because there's less like processing yeah. power involved in like yeah. what they're doing exactly exactly that was mm. exactly my thought like they don't have to behave smart they just have to behave on uh vision sound mm. that's it Basically. Yeah, but they're not strategizing or using tactics or running exactly. away. Exactly, they they're just gun. rushing you. They're just yeah. rushing, uh, rushing you. And then you have the instead of having like I don't know, they see like I shoot them in the head, they don't really die or that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But with this, with realistic stuff, pop one in the head and the it's dead, right? So yeah, yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Or maybe official zombie game mm. for this? A spin-off? First DLC? Yeah, yeah, like a spin-off or a DLC, whatever. Like that would be fucking awesome. Mm. Just to have like an like official with it. I mean, if they could do just PvE and then PvP separate, stuff like that, you know, they they could do official stuff like a zombie thing think about it i i could see that like being way down the pipeline just oh yeah yeah, sure. yeah 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 they yeah, want, yeah yeah they want to get this initial stuff done but like I, you know red but, dead redemption was out for like two or three years before they added the undead nightmare and that was like he, one of the best zombie themed dlcs even, ever produced imagine bro i've i've been through dead matter this game, that game, and let's just say the day before, okay? You know, just for fuck's sakes. If, yeah, I, if this I, game I, merges into what Marek is stating, he wants to appeal to many different people. And he wants to build a game that they want ultimately. Obviously, I mean, come on, who doesn't want to build a game for themselves? But also... If they're beating timelines and windows, which will only happen with feedback, people, we need to get feedback out there. That's why, you know, there's the suggestions channel and the discord, this, that, the other. And why I'm doing these podcasts, get these suggestions out there, people. Um, right, everyone go and upload the pest nest uh, suggestion, please. <laughs> pest I'm nest. That. Oh, that was pest you? Nest, yeah. Pest nest? That was nest? me. Yeah, that was yeah. that was before I, I ascended to the rank of moderator and more or less had to stop making suggestions because I feel like that's abusing my power. That is hilarious, <laughs> bro. Yeah. I had seen that and I was like, what the fuck? A pest nest? I, I, I referred to somebody as a pest nest and so many people found it so hilarious that it sort of yeah. just took off. That's funny. Yeah. But uh, what I was getting at before was if he's listening to the community... Who says not to have a few servers for zombie mods, especially if they're breaking timelines? You know, I, I could imagine this to be not a difficult thing to do, but I mean, it's a persistent server already. You know, yeah. just yeah. add in building to a mediocre level. Doesn't have to be fucking insane, you know? And, you know, just break down the whole base operation status type thing and add us all as one could do it multiple different ways you know just destroy the oh, base camps it. and you spawn in kind of like a day z situation you know and then you go off do whatever search whatever do whatever you know it, it's just Bottom it's endless it's completely yourself. endless or yeah. it or it could be like this now but it's 
like you are there to find the cure in the middle in ground zero right yeah and that too the, and the base camp gets overrun by zombies you like you can't walk out you have to do you have to fly in basically and if, when you land you have to run away immediately because all the zombies will get there the sound yeah uh yeah that would be like oh uh, a wo uh, world war c the movie like that kind of zombies and like oh god oh. no god no i don't want no fast runners y'all no oh, no, no, no 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 <sighs> no it has to be it has to be fast runners especially yeah. with how this game is uh mm. how the game gameplay looks so like mm. suppressors always save ammo you can't find ammo in uh, in match because you know, yeah. or or you can, but it's very little. Uh, yeah, that that I would have. So the base camp is at it as it is basically, and there are tons of zombies just outside the base camp. That would be fucking awesome. I think zombie speed would have to be determined by like how well the net code the and stuff works, because yeah. like Daisy. The zombies He's move horrible. fast, but they're it's really hard to do any like I just even if I have guns, I don't use guns against zombies and Daisy. Like volume, like like sound aside, it's just easier to hit them with a stick than it is to shoot them with a gun. We talked so, about that as well. Like the ticks, yeah. the the tick rate of the servers. Yeah. At le at least ninety, at least ninety ticks. Yeah. But a hundred, but hundred, but a hundred and twenty would be best. Mm -hmm. Uh, and tick servers, uh, tick rate is basically how many times the server updates. It's like FPS, but for the server side. Yeah, yeah. So, so it, uh, if it has 120 uh, tick, uh, tick rate, it means it updates the server 120 times a second. Yeah. And most games today, like Rainbow Six Siege, is like mm -hmm. 30 or 60 tick rate. It's really bad. That's why you trade a lot in that game. Yeah. The same with, um, I think, um, I think uh, Call of Duty. Um, yeah. The the BR one, mm -hmm. it's like uh, maybe sixty. But Which, yeah. It's weird because a mod for a an obscure car game, BeamNG, there's a multiplayer mod, and the tick rate for their servers is like a thousand or something like that. Yeah. Like, how is it that they can have a tick rate yeah. so high? And Battlefield 3 had 120 tick servers yeah. back then. Yeah, why so, is it now, like, why Why is the standard now, like, worse? Yeah, it's it always be been worse. It should be better. It's yeah. always been worse for um, AAA uh, studios. It's always, like, mm -hmm. they're always saving money on, on the servers because they want the game to look as best as possible. Yeah. They don't give a fuck about how it plays. They just want it to look good. That's the mm. that's the problem. Like Hunt Showdown, I love the game, but the trading in that, I don't know what tick it is, but I think it's like thirty or forty-five or something like that. It's really mm. low because you trade all the time. The same with yeah. like Rainbow, the same with Ra uh, Rainbow Six Siege. You trade a lot because like how like I shot first, I killed him, and why did I die? Because the servers are shite. I hope. Yeah. These servers is gonna be 120 because if there are 120, the fighting is gonna feel a lot better. Smooth. Like um, a lot. Yeah, from and what I can... see, Hunt Showdowns is like 30 or less. Yeah. And you can actually lead properly with the uh, sniper rifles if you have 120 tick servers because yeah. the guy you're aiming at is actually updated 120 uh, like times per second. So yeah, that's. That, oh, I just I just want 120 tick servers or higher. Like I know it's more expensive the higher tick you have, but if they spend the extra money on the servers, oh, it's gonna get. Because most companies sign a contract, uh, like two three year contract with the servers, so they can't just upgrade the tick servers during that contract because they they, they pay they pay the they, they pay for time they pay like two three years ahead or they sign themselves in okay into a contract so like hunt is in a contract so they said we're gonna up, upgrade the servers when their contract goes out yeah so they can't they could they can't just upgrade it mid uh, uh mid game so i just hope they paid for the more expensive ones even if they are expensive 
they better have. I mean, they made a lot of money. That, that, that has, yeah. I don't own that game, but I know that game is very popular and it sold really well. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I'm uh, just hoping this game has. Oh, yes. Like, okay, yeah. Like, even if they say, okay, if you want the 120 tick servers, it's going to cost 45 or $40. I'm fine with that. Like, yeah. as... If the tick server is good, I can pay for it. It's fine. I can pay for the, the extra. Yeah. Um, I would rather at that point. I mean, again, you're you're gonna pay for the game either way. Yeah. And exactly. most of us again, most of us are expecting like most AAA titles now are are seventy, eighty dollars. So if you're paying, even if it's fifty or sixty dollars for a quality product with a good server tick rate and like everything else, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'd rather do that jump than pay over here. For, Especially yeah. when there's mods in the future, just yeah, you know, yeah. you you could play your Battlefield Four or, or, or whatever, whatever mm-hmm. with those whatever those games are with those tick rates through mods. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I would even just with this game, I'd rather pay sixty dollars right for the game with with a, say a hundred and twenty server tick rate than twenty five or thirty dollars for a game with you know a twenty or thirty hertz tick rate. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But, That's gonna be horrible. And that's something that's completely new to me. And mm-hmm. I could imagine a bunch of people in the same boat that don't even know about that. That's why I mean, most they're taking most advantage of it. think about it, yeah. Most, most yeah. people, as far as gaming goes, it's, it's, I think a lot FDS, of people sort of just assume like it's their, the, their own ping. It's yeah. sort of what boils down to like whether you hit the guy or not. But there's a whole lot of other, like, there's an impressive amount of mathematics that goes into like, a, a two and a half second Call of Duty like firefight, you know, like exchange, right? Yeah. And it's also amazing that it, it uses as little data as as games do. Like the 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 playing a match of Call of Duty, for example, doesn't actually use up that much internet compared to downloading uh, no. the game or downloading yeah. an update. It's like it's running like what like 10, 20 megabytes a minute, maybe. Like it's it's yeah. nothing. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It, so yeah. So any a, anyone listening, if you played like PUBG, for example, when you're like shooting and leading, and you obviously hit them, you see the blood spatter, but nothing happens. That's tick rate, cause yeah, for you you hit them, but for the server side you didn't hit them. That's basically it. But if you have a hundred and twenty tick, when like battlefield 3 if you have the have it install it and play on those servers try to lead with sniper rifles or any a, a, any other kind of rifle it's super easy to hit people because of the tick rate it helps you will feel much better like i'm really this good at gaming like it's it's a huge huge um difference advantage or yeah or, or yeah difference yeah that's that's very amazing to know. Um, we're currently at... It's saying two hours on the mark. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if y'all realize had... that. No, no, we didn't start the... Yeah, no, it says two hours and eight minutes for me. Which I, I think say, we, we started like quarter two or ten to six, I think, right? And it's now almost eight. My time, yeah. so, so five yeah. to seven for you. Something around there. So I don't know if yeah. you want to end it or keep going with some other stuff, but we're done with the whole environmental yeah, I don't portion think, and all. I don't think we have anything else, right? Not really. We're just pretty much going on ranting now. <laughs> yeah, now we're not which even talking about GCW good. at this point. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we're talking in general, which is completely yeah. fine. Like, uh, like they said, they want suggestions, and who knows, that might throw them under a bus for more delay we might cause more delay no <laughs> i think would be, i would be fine i would yeah. be fine if they're like okay we have to delay three months if you want to oh, 120 shit. tick servers i yeah. was like go ahead boys <laughs> i'll start yeah. worrying if this game is delayed more than eight months out that's when i I'll start worrying yeah i don't i like i personally don't think that's gonna happen i i think like if 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 what the the content creators got to experience is like a relatively yeah, so. recent build, like I, I think like there's not, from what I gather, there, it, it seems like there isn't that much more that's left to do beyond like polishing the game, making sure that when a guy shoots an enemy, they die, like and like it, like yeah. working with the tick rate or 
what regardless of what tick rate servers they've they've ordered or paid for or whatever like adjusting the gameplay around that like i i don't i don't think there's that much left i had always heard there was still just constantly that they were trying to get 48 people on a server with stability that was that was like the last like big hurdle yeah then it's coding yeah yeah so beyond that i'm assuming it's mostly bug fixes and like you know like if they were like i, I can't remember who it was i was i was talking to about the other day and it was probably you guys um about other other games that have sort of given themselves way more time than they should have to 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 work on the game um and like like the example we used was was star citizen which which is is a phenomenal game but because they haven't set a deadline like they're still adding content and yeah. then that new content forces more optimization and bug fixes so the game never like gets finished right yeah so if the if 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 MFG were to say, well, we're going to take another year, I feel like at least half of that time they'd end up adding a whole Way bunch more, more content, stuff. which is great. But then you have a whole bunch of more bug fixing and stuff to do. Yeah. Um, if if they're content with what they have now and like whatever the gameplay loop ends up being, again, if it's what the content creators basically got to play with, right? Then I think it should just be bug fixing at this point. Yeah, yeah. Because the the build they were playing on was so they did the creator playing like a month ago. Yeah, almost. A, yeah, a month ago, and that was an oh, one old month. Like so, the build is two months old basically yeah. now. And if you've seen on the Steam database hem- homepage, you can actually see their upload, uh, their update. There are how many updates they do per day. It's like six or ten updates per day they do for the game. Where do you see that? Is that like on Steam or is that a website that that? Uh, no, it's, it's a. I can I can actually link it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Steam database info, and then we go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Grace. Stone. Oh no, gray with oh. an A, not an E. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He <laughs> knows everything about valid. the game, has watched every single video, still doesn't know how to spell it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, so let's see. Uh, well, the problem is, is that they're both uh, both very valid and like used ways to spell gray. Yeah. Like I, uh, I remember a couple years ago, I used to own a semi truck, like a tractor trailer, and the body paint of the truck was like a dark like slightly lighter than like a charcoal gray the color was gray g-r-a-y the frame looked almost like silver it was gray g-r-e-y and like on the actual build sheet and like the actual paint codes on the truck that was that was the color That's uh, yeah so, I link, so okay. I linked you I linked you the thing mm-hmm. so on the left side you see like prices charts and at the bottom yeah. there update history yeah. Just click just click that and you will see like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, they eight. So, hours ago. Yeah, so eight Holy. patches during the last twenty four hours. Mm-hmm. Wow. Like the pat like the patch notes are fucking like this <laughs> They're they're putting in work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So Oh they're patch notes too. I didn't even see that. Uh, yes, uh, certain stuff has patch notes. Oh, okay. uh, not all of them. Mm-hmm. That'll be worth taking a look here. Uh, change or number. Not pa- say. Yeah, it's basically change number. Or this change list affected 129 other apps. Oh. So that's, that's 129 other like sub systems yeah. in the game okay. uh, in the thing or mods yeah. or whatever you would say okay so that's neat. like yeah it's with it's like nice. they they did it two hours ago and that was like 12 o'clock for us in the eu so, it's after midnight for you isn't it yeah yeah it's two it's 2 a.m now so they they did the update they they're in they the same did... like time zone they never sleep yeah, exactly. So they did the update like five minutes after twelve in the middle of the night. Like Marek is slave driving over there, whips, <laughs> whips and chains. God, I hope not. But like, damn. So the, yeah, they're putting in work. Mm-hmm. 
I I honestly hope not too because the wedding's next week and then fucking got the uh, honeymoon and then I'll be back home. Uh, I I hope at the minimum one month till release at the minimum, Whoa. and that's on I my hope. side. You know I, yeah, I'll be I happy. Hope. <laughs> I yeah. hope I hope it's during his honeymoon. I'm just gonna send pictures. Yeah. Look at me, I'm you playing. Know. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? You're in Mexico or somewhere fancy? Well, guess what? I'm getting malaria in the jungle. <laughs> oh yeah. Who's winning so, now? That's funny. We didn't tell. We did. We didn't. So, so they have the in uh, toxicity meter mm -hmm. on the health system. Mm-hmm. If you guys didn't see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like intoxication or whatever they called it. Yeah, yeah, intoxication. Yeah. And I don't think that's going to be for alcohol, but maybe it's going to be for alcohol as well. But oh, yeah. I th I think they should have kept the radiation and that intoxication meter away. Oh. Like, they, sh they shouldn't have put that in mm -hmm. uh, so we can see it because ground zero is going to be radiation. That, like, that's because there's a radiation meter like we know it yeah. is going to be radiation yes yeah uh, they shouldn't have, they shouldn't have put that in like the initial yeah. like at the very least before the game released because yeah then it's exactly sort of the intoxication makes it obvious. Mm -hmm. the intoxication makes me think just straight up chemical warfare stuff mm. i think but who knows that are drunken helicopter rides yeah you know Thanks i think you. it might be poison like it like mm. um um, Probably yeah, a side effect if you get. The air. Sorry, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like radiation poisoning, like that yeah. kind of stuff. It might, it, it might be like a subsystem to the radiation. That's what yeah. I was about to say. The radiation say. thing, yeah, the radiation might like, oh, you're exposed to this much radi Ooh. radiation, you're this much. Now like, you're poisoned. in toxif yeah. Uh, toxified. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can bust out some Witcher potions or something. Ah, like just, yeah. right just away. a man tank. Yeah, right away. Oh, the, the, ra the radiation medicine is gonna Ooh. be cool. If I hope to do some uh, um, IV ready and like yeah. anti radiation things, that would be mm -hmm. pretty cool as well. But yeah, they oh, should yeah. they they should have kept that secret. I think so. Yeah, I mean, I unless like unless there's a you know a Russian nuclear sub base parked on the ocean somewhere that has a leaking yeah. like you know leaking radioactive fuel or something and that's what it's for but even then that would be fun like, though yeah like, oh it would be cool the middle has nothing to do mm -hmm. with radiation <laughs> like it'd be oh. funny yeah it's just it's just a jungle that just happens to you know suck to navigate through or something but oh, yeah, i i poison plants yeah that's what yeah I it's just, as well. just a whole lot of poison ivy you're just gonna get such a big rash going through there that's no no know. no the the south asian poison ivy oh so, I, I know yeah yeah you know the the one that so there are people that get that on them and they have the itches and like i can't remember what the plant is called but people basically want to die it's that painful poison yeah. ivy no, 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 it, it's a south. It's yeah, yeah. It's a South Asian poison ivy. Like it's a, it's it's a, like family to the North American one, but it's it's so much worse. Like people have taken uh, like uh, leaves and like when they have to shit in the woods, right? <laughs> they oh, taken no. those leaves and did it, and they like they suicided just to get the pain over like it's that bad i i was imagining on their hand not on like their b-hole or something dude that's fucking oh, yeah. terrible yeah. yeah yeah exactly so oh, I'm, right. that it would be cool if like there's poison plants around as well mm -hmm. uh that you have to look out for mm -hmm. well, it's um, just full of upus trees and you just get latex poisoning everywhere you go <laughs> snakes would be cool as well mm -hmm. um snakes own warfare <laughs> Uh, as long those, as it's uh, not a uh, frog zone warfare. It's already frog zone warfare. Right? Yeah. There's literally like people are talking about like in the Discord about frog bosses and stuff. Like <laughs> it's it's canon now oh at this point, god. I think. Oh my god. That's funny, dude. Or water toxic uh, or mm. water toxicity. 
So if you drink the water, you get like, you know, because it's bad water. Yeah. It might be something like that as well. You gotta get you a life straw, or whatever they're called. I hope so they add that. Drink filthy pond water and have no problem. I hope they add like, uh, uh, like the life straw thing and mm. a camelback. Well, that'd be really cool. Because they I don't feel like, have to carry their fucking bottles. Yeah, I, I feel like like nowadays, and like I, I've never been in combat or anything, but I play airsoft, and I don't typically run around with a bag full of water bottles at airsoft. I either have no. a camelback or like a, a canteen in a specific canteen pouch. But camelbacks are, are absolutely the way to go. Yeah, I hope they add ca mm. camelbacks so you can get away from the water need for for an extended uh, period. Yeah. And if you run slash walk, you waste more water as well. I hope they add that system so mm. it's not... So if you're just lying still, you shouldn't waste that much water, basically. So you yeah, can stay. Like, uh, so a sniper can stay in one spot much yeah. longer because he's not wasting water by sweating and stuff. Yeah, I think it is going to be interesting to see how they balance that stuff, like 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 hunger and thirst, for example. Like yeah, most certain. This is not a survival game per se, but most survival games. Again, using Daisy as an example, like. I don't know about you, but in real life, I can go without eating for more than 20 minutes. Yes. Right? <laughs> Most airsoft games I go to, like Milson West, I don't eat the entire event. Like, I bring food and just never sit down and eat it. And I just, I'll lose like five, six pounds in the weekend. But I don't die, right? I drink lots of water. Water is a big deal. But, you know, for the most part, like, you can, you know, you don't get that hungry. Thirst is, is different. You're in the jungle, like... I could see getting thirsty pretty pretty frequently, but you don't get that hungry that fast, right? Yeah. People don't uh, don't need a constant like stream of calories. Um, so I'm hoping. I I thought I remember them saying that like the the hunger and thirst. If it's drained, you're not going to die. It just really like adversely affects your like ability to aim and stuff. So um, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but no, you're I, I didn't want to forget. To add on to that, I would like to see um, basically a weight situation where if you eat too much, there's like a there's a cap where mm. you can carry more gear and stuff because you know you know the whole thing where what is it twenty percent of your weight is what the max is that you want to carry. It's, it's yeah. something like that. Um, but if you don't have any food, you start to lose the ability to carry more weight in the field. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So now you yeah. can't yeah, carry yeah, yeah. out that other set of mm. weapons or whatever you want to carry out. You know? An ad yeah. adverse effect, basically. I like hope they base the time wise. So oh, yeah, for let's sure. Let's say, a, so like, at a 24 hours is like six hours, let's say. So mm. one fourth of the time, right? So I hope they base it. I hope it's six hours per like rotation. Mm -hmm. So one day is six hours in game. Yeah. That you just have to eat like maybe three Every 20 MREs. Minutes. To... Yeah. No, no, no. Like three MREs during those six hours. Because mm. you can live on three MREs during one day. Yeah, you, you, you can live off two of hours. one MRE. Trust me, I've, I've eaten one MRE in a two-day period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But And then you had just live like on mm. snacks in the in in the yeah. between. Like yeah. maybe one chocolate bar mm. there. So maybe like, I don't know, once every two hours you eat an MRE. And in yeah. between that, you eat like maybe one or two chocolate bars. Yeah. Like, it is recommended that you take in calories and, and water pretty consistently, yeah. but, like, the human I, the human body, especially somebody that's in good shape, can go for a reasonable amount of time and still be functional yeah. without it. Exactly. And it's, it's important to know that, like, in this game, we're not going on... It's not like Arma, where, like, it could be based on a, like, we're, we're going to ruck march for, like, four hours, right? You're always, like, there, there's, there's a no point where you should need to carry, like... 50 60 like 70 pounds of gear like i've done again at milson west i've done that but it's because you're carrying 
all your camping supplies, all your cooking supplies, like yeah, everything to comes to with you. Yeah, yeah, you always have a fob to go back to in this game. That's already set up and established. So like, like you said, no more than like twenty percent of your body weight should ever realistically be on your person when you leave the fob, right? Yeah. Like that's you know, so you shouldn't and, drain uh, hunger yeah. and stamina that yeah. quickly. Yeah, you like you shouldn't. You should you shouldn't have to have like four bottles of water and like yeah. four MREs to be out for two hours, yeah. two three hours in the game. Yeah, again, I, I think of most most survival games, you're sort of constantly shotgunning water, or food, or whatever, yeah. right? Like, yeah, and four bottles and like three MREs for two hours in the game. I think mm-hmm. that's too much, but that is actually yeah. very little compared to every other game. Yeah. Absolutely. It is, it's super small uh, mm-hmm. amounts uh, for two hours of gameplay in DayZ or Tarkov or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I I hope to do a six hour cycle. So, because when the night time comes like six months down the line, mm-hmm. that would be like three hours during the night, right? Yeah. Uh, I think three hours night is a, it's totally okay. I, hey, I, again, it depends on the time of year they're set, right? Like the, most of the yeah. summer, the night is a bit shorter than daytime, but yeah, I get what it, you mean, yeah, right? or yeah, like in Southeast Asia, it's it's night, it's but it's still like light because yeah. the sun peeks through. But yeah, like mm-hmm. I think three hour night should uh, that would be evening mm-hmm. and morning, included in those three hours would be nice. So you basically yeah. have, you would basically have like one hour total darkness, and then yeah, like two hours that are like a little bit dark mm. because the sun is going down and up. But yeah, a game that I, gets severely overlooked that has that sort of day night schedule is Far Cry Two. Yeah, like it's a long day night cycle. I, again, I think yeah. I think the total cycle is is over six hours, but yeah. it it's it's I think then oh, go ahead. I know. I just think uh, six hours is perfect. It's it's slow enough that it, it doesn't feel like GTA, where you know it takes you like a five minute drive across town, ate up an entire day. But it isn't, you know, it it, it it's it's short enough that it doesn't feel like, you know, I, I guess like how the game will feel when it's launched, where it's daytime all the time. Yeah. So yeah, I think six hours is is probably a pretty good, like and the yeah and the base. Number. And the base yeah. hunger and and hydration on those six hours instead of having their own uh, own like DGN system for hunger. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I hate carrying so much water just yeah. because the game says so. I was like, dude, I'm out here for like one hour and I need like 40 liters of water. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not good. 100%. Even then, again, it, it, I'm again. I'm just using airsoft games because that's the, the the little experience I have, right? I'm told like it's it's in the rules that I have to carry two liters of water on me, yeah. right? Well, that's you know I, I, I like a big water bottle plus another small one. You know what I mean? That's not a yeah. or a, a camelback. That's like yeah, well, that's like six liters. I think it is. Yeah, I, I've seen everywhere from like two and a half to three to like yeah five or six liters but like you know you don't you're not again depends on the situation right if you were if this was like a survival scenario and you're like you know you have no access to to us to supplies then yes i would say you need to carry as much on you as physically possible because you don't know where you're going to get more but this game unlike say tarkov because tarkov is every like the, the the systems failed right the PMCs yeah. in Tarkov are left on their own. They don't have a base to go back to or a commanding officer to report to. Like, they're basically stranded. Where in this game, you have a fob to return to. You have, as, as, as far as I can tell, like, you have an established group to support you. So you should, yeah, never necessarily need to have six days worth of water on your person. Yeah, yeah. Because you can all, mm. always go back and sleep and eat technically yeah. at the at your base. Yeah. You know, it's a, whatever it is, like five minute helicopter ride away or some some nonsense, yeah. right? 
I hope they downplay the food intake because they did say mm. it was a bit buggy during the like uh, crater test because they yeah. needed like four bottles of water for like 20 minutes. Like, yeah, it was insane. Yeah, that, uh, they that, did that say is like, too much. yeah, they did say like uh, it, 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 it's a bug or whatever. Mm. It's not. It's not gonna be like that. Um, yeah. I hope not. Anyway, so I said it. It's the jungle. It's hot. You do need a lot of water, but yeah. You know, and that, I'm just that's... thinking. I'm just thinking like playing as a bandit. Mm -hmm. If you don't have access to your fob, like mm -hmm. if you don't have water, you fuck. Like what the fuck are you supposed to do then? Like yeah. So yeah. Sure. Life straw and a camelback. There you go. <laughs> that would be insane with that. What was that clean game? Yep. That's all because yeah, you, you have rivers and lakes or whatever, mm. or ponds, you can just like, oh, mm. I have straw, let's fill up camelback while I'm already here. And most of them look like they have pretty muddy doo-doo water, so you probably yeah. do want a life straw. Or, or you can drink it and, you know, get toxic. Yeah, and spend the rest of the, rest of the game vomiting and pooping everywhere, that's... You know, good times. That would be that would be funny. You had like puking in games, like ah, oh, fuck, in a just fire turn, fight. Just turns into the arc where you just, without even controlling it, just drop a deuce <laughs> on the ground while you're running around. Yeah, that that game the I hated. Street. That you you had to eat so much mm. in there. Yeah. So the hopefully choice. they don't. Yeah, hopefully yeah. it's uh, a little bit slower. And again. Like, I, I can't speak from real experience. I've never been in a real-life gunfight, but when I'm in an airsoft gunfight, I'm not like, oh, hold on, I gotta get a drink of water. Like, deal with it later. Yeah. You know, you put it off until you're not in combat. So if the game's, like, forcing you to put your gun down while some dudes are actively shooting at you and start, you know, chugging a, a, a fucking can of, you know, fruit punch or whatever, I uh, I feel like that's also gonna be kind of pulling me out of yeah. the the realism you know and the hydration problem so if you if, we, if you don't have any water and it goes down it should it, the effect shouldn't be immediate it should be gradual yeah yeah or even like if it's say like not that like your gun is immediately swaying everywhere or something but like your stamina yeah. drains faster or something so you can still pull your gun up and shoot but you may have like a i don't know a shorter amount of time or you can sprint less do you know what I mean? Like, it shouldn't just be like, okay, yeah. now you've hit this wall instantly, your stats are reduced, right? Yeah. It should be changing stuff that is a is a gradual thing, like like stamina. Yeah. Oh, that's and all I got for my, my voice turns to, to gravel here. I hope they do well with stamina and it's not something like squad and how they messed up. But um looks like that concludes it guys. I appreciate y'all staying around if y'all stayed to the end. Girthtrude oh, yeah. and Major Myth Mithras here. That's Ooh. as the two boys that made it the longest. Everybody else had to dip, yeah. sadly. Girthtrude, it's uh, almost three o'clock for him and Major, he's uh about to go back to bed, I guess. <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna go be sick in my house and be miserable. <laughs> Hopefully not Sorry. for long. Uh, it's, it'll, I'm sure it'll last the exact amount of time that I booked off. So six full days. 